That was a good day. Do you consider yourself as a no salvo? I don't know. Y'all are the real Mexican. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not yeah. Mexican. But people, that's like the number one comment that people think it bugs us. Like, yeah. that shit does not get to me. You telling me I look like a certain person that I never thought of gets to me. Like, like somebody called me like a pocket sized Samoan before. <laughs> and I was like, holy hey, shit. Hey, why y'all laughing, bro? <laughs> but I was like, I was like, oh you my. Almost using that one. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast with Bradley. How you always been big your whole life and you're like. Bro, I, I'm stupid, dick, because I'm thinking he's telling me like, was getting bitches ever a problem? Yeah. Like, yeah. Bro, I'm stupid, dick, because I'm thinking he's telling me like, was getting bitches ever a problem? And I'm like, no, like, fuck, we got bitches. Though, the baddest ones, too. But what he was saying was like, have you always been big? And I'm like, yeah, but I, in my head, I just assumed he was telling me, like, was it ever a problem? I'm like, no, I can still do. And he was just like, have you always just been big? And I'm like, oh, motherfucker, say that. Bro, you're a product of your environment. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, I got shot on some on some other shit. But, it, I mean, it could have been related to just where I grew up. But when I got shot, you know, I wasn't surprised. Like, but. After this one, y'all, y'all, 100K. Welcome to the club, my guys. The 100K club is dope because. I'm by myself, so I get one. You're gonna have to order some. Oh. Hey, <laughs> cool. But it's dope when you get it. You're like, oh shit! Like, is it heavy? and people treat you different. It's not too heavy, but it's heavy. But it's like <laughs> when you get it, you're it's like heavy enough to knock someone got to make a little chain out of it. When you get it, it, you're like, Ooh. you're like, yeah. Oh, like, like, I'm so hyped up, man. Like, like, gonna be like, I just, I don't want to know what's happening. Like, I'm gonna be at the office and like. Like we'll have like kickbacks and they'll be like, bitches pull up. They'll be like, oh my god, you have a plaque. Like it's like, yeah, damn, that's like the blue. Right, so we're gonna do like a little um, intro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, we're gonna call you in. All right, I gotta walk out. Yeah. Fuck. It. <laughs> uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh I don't know if you're going what through with it. Why you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's about, bro. You better get all comfortable and shit. He's <laughs> 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 like, mic right. check, mic check. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> come back in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. we gotta do no. <laughs> Dude, I'm coming. <laughs> Big round of applause. Hey, look at my lead that party. Ale, pues. Arre, 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 arre. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Agosto Baba podcast. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We're available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify if you guys want to listen to us at work or at the gym. Don't I, I tried listening to our podcast once at the gym and I couldn't. Like, I was laughing. Honestly, I, I, some tried, shit. I tried to listen bag. to it, and I feel like I can't either. I listened it's to it while like, driving. Like weird, you know? And I was like, yeah, because yeah. yeah, the gym, we don't go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, as I like to always say, thank you guys for all the support. We're back with another episode, another banger, and keep supporting. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, and Yo, let us know what you guys think about it. been going episode. absolutely crazy with it's the subscribers. Ahead. Well, yeah, yesterday guys, was today. Yeah. We have. Oh no, Keko was gonna do the intro. Oh, yeah. oh, oh shit, Keko. Keko, Keko, Keko said he read the comments and he, uh, he's gonna prove all y'all wrong. Yeah, so yeah. Go, hit it, Keko. Yeah. Keko's on the come up right What's now. up, guys? Thank you guys for watching another episode. <laughs> on the mic, today, on the mic. we got one of the best creators from the Hispanic community. If you guys might have seen him on TikTok, of course, y'all. Today, have. we got Duno World. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Damn. He was I'm, already sitting I'm down. I'm going to have you work because you're going to have to bleep a gang of shit. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers. I was already sitting down all Augusto and shit. Augusto, Augusto Baba. I had to say it like you guys. Why do you guys spell it like that? Augusto. Oh, because one day we were filming. Because these used to be musicians. So we were filming. Uh, yeah, well, not, well he, he does. He we still drops music. music. Um, but we were filming a music video. And there's some guy laying down like all under a fucking palm tree. And we were vlogging. I was like, you know, so we said, you're not good. So, and then from there, like, we'll be like, oh, what are you doing? Like, are oh, we chilling? Instead of saying chilling, we'll be like, oh, estamos We just replace chilling for Augusto. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then. then from there, like, you know, they'll call us daddy. So. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there, just stay Augusto. All they calling Keko daddy. How y'all doing, man? I love y'all setup, by the way, bros. Thank you, bro. Thank I mean, you, I've been watching y'all for a long time. I'm a huge fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you're not used to, like... You know, probably like the small space. Bro, what do you mean I have a space like this? It's a little bigger. It's an office, but it's, <laughs> it's like hey. fucking 10 times bigger. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. You, you guys can, are seeing every square working, inch. Bro, your setup looks way better than mine. My setup is trash right now. I got to get it together. Who set y'all shit up? You. All the oh, Theo's. Dad? All the Theo's set us up. Yeah, yeah, see, I don't even got a dad, boy. Oh. So I don't got a Theo, <laughs> you feel me? And my Theo's do like regular shit. They don't do construction and shit. So what do you mean regular shit? Like, I <laughs> that don't is know, regular. What is regular? One, yeah. one of them sells like pan and like tortillas, I think. Uh, oh. Damn. And then another one, I don't even, I think the other one's a painter. But I've never seen any of them fools build anything, so. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I gotta have my homie just build me some shit, huh? We can build it for you. 
He can't. No. <laughs> Dude, anyway, this, this is time. our this is our humble setup, but it's good to have you here, bro. Um, Appreciate honestly, you. we're you fans. Know, the way that I found out about you is through TikTok, where yes, you were doing a skit with your homie, and you were like pretending to go live, right? Yeah. And he's like, "Oh, where the bitches at?" And then the other guy's like. Like, oh, you got to keep it low key, you know? Yeah, yeah, and man. Shout out my guy Izzy. That day was crazy because I was already doing my thing. It was like I kind of like already blowing up. But he he, he commented on my on my TikTok. And I think he had like the little blue check. And at, at the moment, like shit like that be matter. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, let me go tap in, bro. And I tapped in and I had more followers than him. And <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, then. like it don't matter. Like I'm down to work. And we like, I t it took me like two, three weeks to reply to him. I just be busy and shit. And then I replied, and then I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do a skit. But I'm kicking it at the block where I grew up, and he's like, I'm from Banning, bro. Where's and I'm that? like, you from Banning? Banning's like going towards like Palm Springs and like mm. oh. Coachella Valley and mm. stuff like that. And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, pull up. If you're trying to drive over here, pull up. And he pulled up, and I never met him in my life. We kicked it for like an hour or two. We did two skits. I did that one, and... I showed it to my homie that day, and he was like, he like that shit, whatever. That's thing you do better, whatever. I'm gonna shout out Cypress Moreno. He's the one that told me that he's always been real with me. Shout out my guy. And then I posted it like at five, and then we go to the studio session with Ruchi and Az Chike. They're like at a studio session, and they're shooting a music video in there too. And then I post it, and then it's like, it's like five hundred thousand. And I'm like, damn, it's been an hour, boy. But it was going, it was going crazy on my Instagram. But somebody had taken it from my Instagram and posted it on TikTok. I DM them like, bro, can you please delete it? And they're like, yeah, we got you, bro. My fault. We didn't know. <laughs> so shout out, bro, whoever that guy is because yeah, he would have got everything. Mm -hmm. Dog, I posted on my shit. It's like 11 and it's just like 1 million. I'm like, oh, shit, okay, cool. I wake up the next day. I have like, on Instagram, I have like 30,000 new followers. Ooh. On TikTok, I'm like 400K followers up and everybody just started finding a gang of my old shit. Wait, what year was this? Uh, early tw when the for when did the pandemic happen? Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Early twenty twenty. Yeah. So like, twenty twenty, like January end of January. So it was kind of when like TikTok was new, huh? Because when TikTok I was, I feel like during the pandemic, that's when it was like hitting, hitting. Yep, yeah. No one wanted to go on TikTok at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like before the pandemic, it wasn't too crazy, but it got mm -hmm. you know for me, and that's when it, it went crazy. Pegó duro. Well, stupid fool. Like, like that's when all the artists started following me. A lot of like. Famous like hip hop artists and stuff like that, and then it went crazy after that. Thirty k sure. overnight, over literally food like that. Like, I woke up and I was like, "Holy shit!" I had DMs from badass bitches and all that type. Yeah, we up. Boy. Like, I thought I was like, on. You feel me? I was still broke as shit, but they felt good. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and then you're still working at, at Pollo Local, correct? I had just quit. I had just quit a couple months before. I had just quit. And I was making money off promo on my stories. I was making money off promo on my stories. I was making like 400 off like YouTube. So it was like, it was making ends me, but I wasn't making money, money. But after that, I was making bread. After that, I started like- Like we eating today type of shit. Yeah, like, oh yeah, we, we started doing the shit and then, you know, Jumper came along and stuff like that. But that was a little later. But other than that, I was just, I was still pretty broke though. I, I wasn't like comfortable or, or at, at any type of way or sort, you know what I mean? So like in the beginning, you always knew you wanted to do like content creation and stuff like that? Nah, bro, never in my life. I always thought it was corny. Like it just wasn't, you know, like, cause you, you guys remember Vine? Vine, mm -hmm. yeah. Vine. Okay, so like Vine was funny, but it wasn't like. Oh like, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Like yeah. it was never like, I was like, uh, nobody was really doing it, bro. And if we're being honest, no Latinos were doing it. Yeah, I feel like it was just a bunch oh, of white people. people. Yeah. Yeah, it was white people, black people and, um. And a lot of people that were doing it, the Latinos, it was like, you guys remember, um, what is the fool's name? The Cholo fools. Oh, Cholo Adventures? Cholo oh, Adventures. Yeah. Those were and like Cholo Adventures, Sergio Rasta. You guys remember, oh. who, you guys remember that guy? I remember Cholo Adventures for sure. Cholo Adventures, yeah. um, bro, Sergio Rasta was doing it. He, I, I think, I think unfortunately he, he passed away. I think he committed, so I, I could be wrong, but I think that's what I read. But Sergio Rasta was doing it. Them two were the only ones the, that I knew that were doing it big. I mean, I, I mean them two. And I was like a big fan of Wild and Out. Because I was oh, like, yeah. oh, I could be on Wild and Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the I mean? Wild and Out is the one where they like diss each other, right? Yeah, where they make fun of each other. It gets personal. They do like games and they have like the freestyle battle in the end and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah. So Vine kind of 
inspired you to to really push yourself into nah the, nah not at all not at all not at all not i i seen the shit i was like a real bad kid i was never like i did instagram and social media like to talk to hoes and the homies but i never once said my <laughs> like i never showed my face on on online before because because I'm a tagger, so I would post my my tagging shit. Mm. So I would never show my face, and you never want people that don't like you to know how you look. The, when I started showing my face was when I started doing social media. And that was 2018, August 23rd. My homies passed away July 28th. Tw no, July 4th, July 5th, July 4th, July 5th. And then boom, from there, I was like, well, I was going through like this phase or whatever. I was fresh out of high school. And then August 23rd is when I started doing Instagram, and that was it. And what made you start with Instagram? Like, how do you go from thinking it was corny to oh, give I mean, it a shot? Shit. I mean, I guess my homies passed away and it started becoming a thing. Like, social media started taking over. You know what I mean? Like, you start seeing skids. You feel me? Shout out DC Young Fly. I was like a big fan of DC Young Fly. Um, people that were doing it was like Shelly's Rose. Mm -hmm. And oh, I'm, And if I'm missing a couple of people, I could be wrong. But there's a gang of people doing their shit and I was just watching it. And I was like, oh. Me and the homies had a page called No Dad Bomity. None of us have dads. So we used to like get drunk and slap the shit out of each other when we're asleep and like <laughs> post each other throwing up and fucking, I don't know, a gang of stupid shit. And I was like, man, I'm gonna try this shit. And I was like, okay, I tried it. It was cool. It was cool. And then, yes, from there it took off. It was not planned. I never once in my life as a kid was like, hey, I wanna fucking be a TikToker or a fucking. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Some of us are just kind of. Happened along the way. Yeah, man. it just happened, bro. And and that's and that's why it's fun. Because if I had planned it and then I'd be like, oh, the dream come true. Like, no. Like well, the shit that happened to me now is all a surprise to me. Like, I had no clue about how to work with YouTube to this. Like when I first the Google Ads and shit came to me, I threw that shit away. And I'm gonna be like, fool, stupid, that's how you get paid. And I'm like, oh, what an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> so then I had to resend the shit and it took like three months for it oh, to get yeah. to me. <laughs> that was <laughs> Oh, I was so mad. I was like, oh, money. He's like, AdSense? Yeah. Nah. I just got approved two weeks ago. And you threw no, it? No, last week. No, no, I got approved like fucking four months ago. But you, you threw the know, first one. Yeah, yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't reading it. I the was like, pin shit, right? Yeah, like the pin that you had With the pin and you got oh, yeah, yeah. I was about to throw and that away I just got too. mine back, what, and, two days ago? And then now they pay you, but I'm a dickhead, fool. Like, what a dumbass. <laughs> like, what you yeah. But you know, like everything's just so fresh to me. Like, even now I'm still learning so much. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a learning and what do your homies say about like you being out there in the social media? Um, you lose friends along the way, but I'm mean, like, fuck them fools if they don't like it. But all my real good friends, they're with me through all the whole thing. They come to all my shows. They love it. Bitches are around the club. They get a drink for free. They meet all their favorite artists. Like, oh, you know what I mean? So it's a vibe, but they're also just proud of me as well. You know what I mean? You, you said you lost friends along the way. Was it because you started social media or what? No, you just lose people. Like, everybody expects something. Like, motherfucker, like, I'll pay my bills. I can't pay yours yet. Mm -hmm. Or they, people, like, just, like, feel like they're... They see you out to there something? and they're like, oh. No, like they, they're like, um, they feel the entitled to shit, fool. Like, but everybody I lost, I was supposed to lose. There's already something fishy about them. I'm just a real nice person. That I'll look the other way just until you're mm. proven otherwise. It was too much at that point, just Yeah, like I like I started hearing like, oh, do nothing he the shit, and then I'll pull up and I'm like, let's see if they have this energy. And I'll be like, What's up, bro? We proud of you. It's like nah. a hot oh, Yeah, shut up, terrible. bitch. You feel me? But other than that, it was it was cool, you feel me? Yeah. People just don't be liking motherfuckers winning this shit, which is weird. I don't know why. I don't know, jealousy, I think. Yeah, like bro, we I'm vibing God. fool. Like you come to the club, fuck bitches. Like there's bitches everywhere, alcohol, like you're not paying for shit. You know what I mean? Get my so, skin. Exactly. Wait. Yeah, yeah, but taking it back a little bit. Um, so you started doing um, the social media stuff, mm. but then you were still working. Uh, at what point you said, you know, fuck Poet Local? Damn, man, if, I, if I would get recognized way. And it was kind of weird. It's because people think because you do YouTube and like Instagram, like you're rich. Yeah, like, yeah right that's, rich. I think that's the expectation. Like, people fool, think, I'm not yeah. rich at all. Like, like, I just, I'm happy to be, like, n now I'm blessed, thank God, you know. You know, that's how it was, I'm blessed, bro. Like, I get to, like, live life. But does it mean I'm, like, buying a rose? Like, people are, like. People think you get, like, a dollar for every like or yeah, something. Yeah, like, I wish. <laughs> I would be fucking yeah. up right now. Like, oh, I'd be yeah. kicking it with Jay-Z or something, you know. <laughs> you got to work hard, bro. Like, people, you got you to gotta put in the work. But no, like, yeah, people, like, 
Like, I would get recognized, and I'd be like, damn, I look bummy as fuck right now. <laughs> I had a tight-ass Paul local shirt on. It was all dirty, mac and cheese, and, like, grasa del pollo. And all the, and yeah, nah, like, and it was smacks. grimy. And then I just put in my two weeks' notice, and shit. The fat lady sang after that, fool. It was, it was over with. Tu no tenías fe. Yeah, I just, I, I believed. I mean, it was like... Like, I got it. My mom didn't believe for shit, though. She was like, you better figure something. Like, I think she even paid for my security guard, um, my guard card. Mm -hmm. And even at that, I was like, I, I want to go do that shit. And that's pretty much it. Boy, I didn't do nothing else today. I was like, yeah, fuck this. And I, I just continued to do it. And now I'm, I'm out here kicking it with like, what's up, my body? Nah, hey. nah, nah. Wait, sorry. I still want to take a little bit way more back. I yeah, yeah. kind of, like, took it too far. But um, how was your life growing up? Man, life was good, bro. I, I mean, certain shit was, like, tough, like, but, I mean, I don't complain about this shit, like, I mean, we had it hard, bro. Like, my mom, they're, you know, you guys come, like, I come from immigrant parents, you feel me? Um, Dad's a drug addict, mom's a saint. I had a crazy older sister that ran away a lot, and, like, my mom had to deal with working seven days a week, dealing with a husband that she loves as a drug addict and doing this wild shit while her 13-year-old daughter is you don't know where she's at for long periods of time and you have to take care of three other kids you know what i mean so my mom had it real tough i mean growing up you're just a product of your environment bro like my cousins got shot like i had two cousins like got one of within a month one of them their brothers too i'll pay my cousins um Remio, by the way he but he got shot six times and lived and then he got and his brother got stabbed seven times around his neck and lived And then we moved from there down the street to where I grew up, grew up like around six five, and I, that's where I got shot. But that's also where I learned how to play football, soccer, mm -hmm. baseball, fucking kick the can, cups of robbers. The first time I saw a gun, the first time I saw drugs, like you feel me? But I don't know. I, I, I had a, I, I had mm -hmm. fun way. Like I'd be surprised when people didn't like grow up with childhood best friends. Like what our moms knew each other. You feel oh, yeah. me? Like, we did everything together, like, from fucking running to fucking seeing each other with each other's first girlfriends, drinking our first four locals together. <laughs> memories. Fucking. Like the best memories, huh? Yeah, like, bro, like, what? But, I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it was fun as fuck, bro. Like, I wouldn't change a fucking single thing, dog. And where were you born? I was born out here in L.A. In LA? I was born and raised in L.A., so I was born in L.A., but the hospital I was born in is in Chinatown. It's only, like, five minutes from where I grew up. I was, I was born in Chinatown. But raised all through the downtown LA, Echo Park area vibes. You know what I mean? I started doing graffiti when I was like in the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what involved me to the streets a lot. And I was just fucking wilding out, in and out, juvenile hall, fighting, house arrest, getting shot, getting drunk, bitches. So it was, but it was fun, bro. Other than that, mm -hmm. it was fun. <laughs> the one good thing I did throughout my whole teenage life was play water polo. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, mean, I, we were, I was seeing um, the podcast with Bradley yeah. and... Um, He brought up the comment where he was like, have you always been big your whole life? And you're like, man, oh, that thought, was, yeah. I thought, okay, boy, he, okay, my boy's me. putting on for all of us. Bro, I, I'm stupid, dick, because I'm thinking he's telling me like, was getting bitches ever a problem? And I'm like, no, like, I always got bitches, though, the baddest ones too. But what he was saying was like, have you always been big? And I'm like, yeah, but I, in my head, I just assumed he was telling me like, was it ever a problem? I'm like, no, I could still do. And he was just like, have you always just been big? And I'm like, oh, motherfucker, say that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was never a problem. Like me being like a big boy, like, nah, I did it. Everything, climb fences, run fast as fuck, play every sport. <laughs> And like even swimming. Swimming's like the love of my life, you know, cat. That's just fun. Um, and then like, were you ever part of like, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but were you ever like, got into like any gang banging? Any other nah, nah, never gang member, never gang banging in my life. Don't gang bang kids. But I definitely did a lot of graffiti. I mean, I mean, when you're like we're from California, you know, in LA and, and just anywhere in the city, you feel me? Like it could happen anywhere from Orange County to fucking Mid City to Venice, Santa Monica, Los Angeles, South Central Watts. Bro, you're a product of your environment. Like, you know what I mean? So like I got shot on some on some other shit, but it, I mean it could have been related to just where I grew up. But when I got shot, you know, I wasn't surprised. Like, but it's part of your, you know, it's it's like over here, bro, innocent kids die every day. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Are you like feel me? I know happen. skaters that are way crazier than cholos. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I know regular paisas that will kill you in a heartbeat. And I know a, a cholo that would, you know what I mean? So it just, it just, it happens, bro. But you know, I never gangbang. Don't yeah. gangbang, kids. Stay out of gangs. 
And Renata, do podcasting. Oh. Oh. Do podcasting. Yeah. Renata, you still living in LA? Uh, not too far. Not too far. Yeah, yeah, man, it's oh. cool. It's cool. It's cool. I be chilling, vibing a little out the way. It's like I made it out. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, nah. I be trying not to just be out. I be like a, I be at the house or just with the homies, but I don't be like tagging anymore. Shit, mm. like, fuck no. Nico was tagging too. Hey, he was you a tagger tagging before. Back then, were you nice? Huh? Were you nice? Yeah, that was, his, that, was flair, his, that was his graffiti name. A little bomber. Oh, Keko, okay, what's your graffiti name? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Com- like, no, that, that, <laughs> cool. That's a different story. Nah, how you got I that name, a, man. I had a different name. Comet. Yeah, it was. They, <laughs> <laughs> I was a <laughs> clown, <laughs> and one time I was hitting a black book, and then um, some teacher came up to me, and she's like, oh, is that your comic book? And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, your comic book. I'm like, I fuck with that name. So then I just stayed as comic. So your teacher named your... Yeah, like, basically she. Yeah, that's sick. yeah, like do no, do no don't mean shit. Yeah. That's my tiger nickname. I just spell it different now. Oh. But I, I have that nickname since like seventh grade. And people who are watching, well, what they probably like, oh, it's do no, you're not obviously not your real name, but like, <laughs> how do you get well, the name? What's your yeah? How did that name come about? It don't mean shit. I promise you, I don't have a story for my fucking name. <laughs> my name doesn't mean a fucking single thing. It doesn't. It's not a name of my my grandpa or somebody that passed away or some no. big homie gave it to me or nothing. Like my older homie, nothing. My name, I was literally trying to figure out a nickname to start tagging. I had some stupid shit. Like I'm telling you, I had like those was like D O C E, and then I had like Fats, but P H A T S. And then I was like, yeah, that's fucking trash. And my sister was like, go with Duno. And I was like, yeah, what does it mean? She's like, I don't fucking know. And I was like, this shit sound hard. Let's get it. And then Duno stuck ever since. Damn, that's sick. Now it's like your social media. Yeah, that's it. Know? My name don't mean sh- a fucking single thing. I swear <laughs> to God, I like. Wait, what's your real name? A Danny. 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 Yeah. Danny. He Danny. swears that it was. No, I said I thought it was David. He's like, oh, his, yeah, his no, name no, no, is David. David. Like, dude knows my boy. He's really <laughs> David. <laughs> nah, nah, it's, it's fucking Daniel. It's really Daniel, Daniel but Dan. Ah, you know Daniel. Make it short, yeah. What yeah, part of Mexico are you from? Uh, my parents are from El Def. Mm. He's from so, like, so, like, all these, like, corrido shit, like, I like it because I like it. Like, but I didn't grow up to none of that shit. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, because like, él también es chilango. Oh, you're chilango, too? Los dos, yeah. You too? Yeah. Yeah, we rob like carteras and shit from what everybody, I know. Everybody like, I've hey, never been. Hey, cuidado con las carteras, eh, porque nos va a ganar el instinto. Yeah, like, 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 I've never been. You guys been? Yeah. I've never been. I heard it's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. Who told you that? Mom, uh, like, my mom says certain, like, now I heard it's like hella, like, gentrified. Oh, oh but, yeah. But that's oh, like. my cousin just came, from, from, came from Mexico. You, you from Levin? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's como todo, hay sus áreas, but I think it's mostly like bad or where you can't, like, walk outside, like, after 10. And stuff yeah, like, like where that. my mom's from, she, like, it's still ghetto as fuck. Like, yeah. Like where they have like their terrenos and shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. Los like, los, <laughs> the ones are yeah, fighting like, over. Like, like I know land. what it is, but I just know like, <laughs> like land. <laughs> How do you not know? But it's I'm like, I'm like, you own just a piece of random land in Mexico. She's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, we fighting over. I'm like, build some shit, motherfucker. I don't yeah. know. Like, <laughs> it's fucking dirt. <laughs> the TikToks where it's like the like, land. She's like, they it's were... yours when I die. I'm like, what? <laughs> The dirt, <laughs> the yeah, dirt, yeah, but, yeah. The but, TikToks where no. they're just standing there. It's like, this is what y'all were fighting about? Yeah, I was like, bro, they be arguing this shit. I'll be like, bro, sh- yeah. shut that shit up. But like, yeah, like I've never been, but I but I grew up like a rock and Espanol, tough. Yeah, like, that's what's over there. You don't hear a lot of corridos like and that. And like cumbias. Like, well, my cumbias. family dance that shit. Oh. With one finger. Yeah. Little babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's called. Where they do like the, the shout outs, like nonstop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I love those DJs. Yeah. I don't know how, like, they just, like, find a way where it's actually, like, not annoying. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abuelito. Yeah, yeah. Su nieto. <laughs> yeah, two seconds, like, like the Like, for, like, the Chilango 15 años, those were lit. Oh, yeah. They know how to get down. They know how to get down. For you never plan on their blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next year, bro, I, I already bought my ticket. Oh, yeah? Crazy. I'm going, I'm going to go make stupid money off my family. Just film them all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting oh, no shit man. from YouTube revenue, but I'm going to just live it up, boy. I mean, they're gonna like they're gonna win, but I'm gonna like take them out to eat. It's cause my family's not broke out there. They're not like too broke. Like my mom and them, like their dad built like a house, and now they rent the house and they don't live there. So my grandma keeps all that. She's trying to sell me this shit, but I think she's trying to finesse me. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this will make money for them. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I gotta get a realtor. Let me see how much everything gonna cost. I'm no, you gotta fight for it. Get it for free. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to say. Just. That seems too calm. Like finesse her, oh, so like signing the name over to me. <laughs> but but I never really met her way. Like uh, I just met her last this year. To be honest, last year it was the first time we like actually interacted. Yeah, your first cool. impressions are mattering. Yeah, I mean it's like so they write like, you in there. Yeah, shout out Mexico. It's cool. I mean shit. But but I do gotta go there. I've been to TJ multiple times. But I I wanna go to the and like 
hear the Chilango slang and the doble sentido bullshit. Because that's where a lot of my comedy, I've been learning a lot of my comedy from. Yeah, I think yeah, there's like way more developed and stuff. Oh, fool, they're dicks. They're on a different level. <laughs> Absolutely like, different level. Like if you talk to my mom's like and my dad's friends, they're like, like you're offending me, but I don't know that you're offending me. It kind of makes you feel stupid. Yeah, it's like on a different level. Like they, I I, I wish I could do that. Yeah, like the carrillas at a whole. Like a, yeah. Se llevan pesado, huh? Oh, fool, my, my mom used to tell me that my dad and my uncle used to talk about each other's mom like, Hey, wey, ¿qué pasa con tu mamá, wey? Aquí me la he hecho, eh? I was like, what the fuck? Like, holy shit. But yeah, I mean, but fuck it. I, but I want to go out there and just, and clown and learn, you feel me? I just want to go out there and, and and observe my cousins and shit like that. Sick, bro. It's cool. Mexico's a whole ass different vibe compared to here. Like, Boston, you're like, damn. You're grateful and shit. Are, 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 fuck, are you guys born here? Uh, I am. Yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> well, me and him are not. I could tell. Yeah. How yeah, you, all of you guys have an accent. We all have an accent. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Nobody's ever told you guys that. No, nah. for me, yeah. Hey, what do you? Okay, you, you think? Oh, he already told you he's born here, but before. But, he but told when you? I right, until right now, no, I thought he was from over there. Well, his, you think his, his, his English is a little off? I thought you were Spanish. straight wet backed out. Yeah. Yeah, wait. Oh. You have an accent, but all. But I feel like that's why your podcast makes sense. Mm. Like I feel like you guys span. Like my Spanish is like I could I could sing I could talk it, mm-hmm. but like if you guys were to hear me talk, you'd be like, oh, this fucking. Fucking guero. They do, no little, they do little like... In Spanish? Yeah, in Spanish. <laughs> I'll talk to you. Let me see. I'm going to focus real quick. All right, ask him something. You're going to stand up, You're going to stand up. All right, I'm going to stand up. Hold on, hold on. Para todos los que pedían podcast en español. No, but no, no, like, like when I talk, like, okay, so I'll be like, oh, las flores, las, las flores bonitas. But it's, no, no, I'll, it's, what is it, bonitas flores? No, bonitas. No, no. Oh, no, no, you can't look at me. <laughs> you can't look at me. He's the one that knows the best. I don't know that one either. So it's, so I'll be like, oh, but, so Spanish is like pretty flowers. Uh-huh. I mean, in English. All, all those, I mean, in English is like, all those flowers are pretty. But in Spanish, it'll be, oh. Las flores um, bonitas. Like, bonitas flores, no? No, no las flores son bonitas. <laughs> Esas flores son bonitas, no? Oh, but then, but then, <laughs> I'll say it like the other way. <laughs> You just I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, let me check out the quick story. Uh-huh. Oh, let's take a shot. I'm not part one. But like, um, part one, go? I'm fucking mezcal. one time I was talking to my abuelita, um, <clears throat> in mezcal. and like I I didn't know who she was. I mean I knew who she was, but like <laughs> I never met her before. And I was like, at the moment I was going to school with my sister, and we're just I was clowning, and I was like, oh, you gotta take one with me, fucker. I'm gonna take some of that, okay, okay, okay. So I was like, oh. My sister, we call her Cookie. I was like, oh, Cookie. Instead of saying Cookie's embarrassed to me, I said, oh, Cookie está embarazada de mí. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my sister. Oh, <laughs> so Lord. My like, no. Whoa, no. Shit. I'm like, oh, my grandma thought we were on some hillbilly shit. You know? <laughs> He's like, pasa a tu fucking mama. my sister. Some Ohio shit. But I really meant like, eh, enver- how, how do you say it? Em- envergos- how do you say it? Envergonzado. Me avergonzó. Envergonzó. And yeah, but yeah. So whatever he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! But I said it the other way. <laughs> no, not the other way. That's the other thing. Uh, but, no, but I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh, it's time embarrassed de me. But like, <laughs> embarrassed, embarrassed and embarrassed. I think it's a little bit the same. Okay, they but, do, they do, but they there's do, a real question. Do. What is she saying? No, she was like, what? Well, okay? <laughs> And then my mom and my sister and them laugh, but they had to correct it because, you know, my family would have thought my mom was letting her kids fuck or something. You know what, I mean? no. you know what I'm saying? But I actually like correct it. But even like to this day, my grandma, when I first met her, cheers. Damn, motherfucker. Damn. Nah, well, that's cool. She. Cabrón. Think about the bloody to drink. That's real good. It's from Defe. Todos los del Defe. Is it really? Real good. I think it is. My boy lying to us. No, so, so no, that's my, really good, bro. One of, one of my friends, Ugh, that shit burned. From Want to try some alcoholic? Yeah, you lying, motherfucker. But nah, yeah, I said, I said, embarazada, fool. So like, my mom and them like, wow. Hey, like, yo, hey, yo. You said it the wrong way, and I was like, what I say? And I was like, oh, oh. I said like, she's pregnant by me. And I'm on this <laughs> way. They thought we were fucking an incest family, <laughs> pops. All right, guys, we're back from the break. We got Duno's right here. Yes, sir. We just took some shots of mezcal, and honestly, that shit was smooth. I'm one of the best mezcal I've tried, no cap. If you guys subscribe right now, Jason's going to take another shot. <laughs> Cabron. So subscribe. Ready? We'll give you five seconds. Five. No, 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 no. Later, later, later. later. <laughs> You're not working later. Tomorrow. I'm going to ask my sophisticated question that oh I practiced for hours. <laughs> my, my, my shot kicked in. I, I forgot my you want to take a shot before <laughs> I ask the question? Dude, no. this shit looks like... 
some potion. It looks like medicine. It does, huh? That shit looks like medicine from the like, I was like, bro, this is like <laughs> oh, fucking Thomas this, this is like, medicine. They're like witchcraft right there. <laughs> like Vicks from years ago. <laughs> I don't know where it's from, but it was Over. it was pretty good. Real good. That shit was nasty as fuck. That shit burned my stomach. That's like Costco fucking. That should taste like rubbing alcohol. Taste like, like twenty bucks. <laughs> like Tw- twenty bucks. Sh- How many homies alcohol. you think could get drunk off of that? How many homies? Depending what 50? type of homies, but fifty. Bro, I'm already feeling that shit. That shit fucking tastes nasty. Some it was eight. nasty, but bro, um, I wanted to ask you when you started social media, what were your goals when you initially started? Uh, I don't think I had any way. I mean, you just want to be pop off and like get a lot of views and be recognized. But I think like, I think the goal even like right now is to act, bro. Yeah. That's like one of the goals that you are like really and be a successful stand-up comedian. I haven't done, I've acted on some shit, but I've, I have still haven't been a successful stand-up comedian. So I guess I, I, I got to work on the, on the stand-up, but it's hard, but I just got to dedicate myself I've, with everything I'm doing with podcasting, it's, it's kind of hard to dedicate myself to a lot of different things. But shit, if fucking, if you could do, I mean, shit, I could do it all for I just got to put my mind to it, really. But but acting, for sure, is like, that's what I want to do. Like, like, that's my goal, my goal, goal. Damn, that's a crazy then, goal, bro. I saw one, uh, I didn't see, I heard on the podcast you did with Bradley. Um, you're going to come out in a movie? Yeah, yeah, man. I'm coming out on Why Man Can't Jump. Oh uh, man, shout out really? Carmatics. You feel me? Shout out AD. We he he plugged me with that. I have a little role. I I talk in Spanish, you know what I mean? In the role, so it's cool. I <laughs> I tell um well I can't say what what it's like, oh but damn. damn. You about to get soup. <laughs> but 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 Sheesh. but it was a vibe. Uh-huh. And um I was blessed to be there with um Andrew Schultz and Jack Harlow. Oh sick. Oh, sick. And sick. met both those guys, amazing guys. And Shout out Karmatic, shout out AD, and yeah, that's coming. So stay tuned, 2023. Uh, from what I heard, it, it it's real good, and I'm excited to just have a little, you know, have my little part, and you know, we, it's, it, man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah, that's oh, was that awesome. your first uh, acting opportunity that you had, or no, have I, you had? There's one more movie that or Chato with Omo, get it fucking together. But I did a whole movie, dope production, all Latino production, and I and I worked with um. Concrete Live, Jay Valentino, um, Jerry Garcia, which is Jerry Garcia is a very, very successful um, stand-up comedian. He's also Mexican. Um, worked with a couple people, and I'm excited, bro. That movie, I had a main role. I, 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 I was able to just try different shit. I expressed my feelings as a little kid. I argued. I screamed. I laughed. I cried. I was hurt. I felt disappointed. I was able to show all these different emotions that I've never been able to show while doing a movie. So it was dope to fucking um, be able to express myself. And hopefully I did good. I, I think I did good. The homies that have been doing movies for a long time, they watched some of it. They said it was good. So hopefully that comes out and takes me to a whole other level. And yeah, Hell yeah you know, bro. do some movies and shit, bro. Hell yeah. That's it's awesome. crazy how far you got in two years. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, damn. You're on I fire, like, dude. Ah, fool. I, I be tired sometimes. That's why I get drunk a lot. <laughs> and I'd be like, ah, just man, fuck, I'm tired. My, I'm you just gave him like the perfect excuse. Oh, no, oh no. my God. You unleashed I just the interviewed people. um fucking Andrew Schultz. Yeah, let's fucking get drunk tonight. We yeah. need to. Se, se so, little things, man. That's what I always tell people. Like, when I got my plaque, when I got my YouTube plaque, the 100K one, I just got drunk as shit. Like, with all the hums. Like, yeah, let's get. F- let's get grupo. Yeah, let's, right, pay. We're yeah, let's get We're, we're so K- close. Four K more. We got like 500 subscribers yesterday. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. I'm a 4K. Oh, yeah. After this one, y'all, y'all 100K. Welcome to the club, my guys. Yeah. Uh, the 100K club is dope because, yes, sir. Yeah, like, Triple digit. whoa. I'm by myself, so I get one. You're going to have to order some multiple. <laughs> <laughs> you order multiple? You could. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, shit. So, like, shit. the Sweet Tea homies, like, the, the Sweet Tea homies, you get one from Google, and then it says, um, you can add like three, and they're like, they're not even that expensive, like 150. Oh shit! Yeah, and then you fucking. I have it in my office, but I want to order one more and give it to my mom. Damn, no. But it's dope oh, when you get it. You're like, oh shit! Like, is it heavy? and people treat you different. It's not too heavy, but it's heavy. But it's like <laughs> when you get it, you're it's like heavy enough to knock someone got to make a little chain out of it. Like, you're like, yeah. Oh, like, I'm so like, I mean, like, gonna, gonna be like, I just, I want to know what that the office and like. Like we'll have like kickbacks and they'll be like bitches pull up they'll be like oh my god you have a plaque like it's like yeah bitch. <laughs> damn yeah, that's like that the blue shit. check mark I get shit on bitch <laughs> like, that's I mean? like the blue check mark huh yeah the blue <laughs> check mark is cool that's just cool but like a plaque but like a plaque you could you could hold it kiss it 
Hug it. You can sleep with it. You know what I mean? More motivation, you know? Yeah, like, facts. No cap. Yeah. And speaking on that, like, that huge accomplishment, which, uh, you know, we're happy for you. Um, It's been, like, such a short amount of time. You've done all these things. Anything that stands out to you that you're, like, I'm super proud of this. Like, I got this. Um, I think the podcasting space, bro. I have, um, I'm very talkative. I, I, I talk, I'm loud. I scream. I don't know how to shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> so like working in spaces where I'm able to, where I have to learn to take turns and, and like everybody else is talking and engage in conversation and I have real bad ADHD and I'm just kind of like, oh, let me take my opinion and I'll be like, you know what I mean? I think I think that's a real big accomplishment, just learning how to communicate. Like my people skills is that amazing now, but I've always been good at talking. I just talk a lot. So now I was taking turns, but I think just like all the, all the genuine, um, like friendships I build and fucking the amount of things I'm able to do with me and my homies. But like biggest accomplishment, I don't know. Like I have a real job. Mm. Like, like man, I got to wake up and like. Make some content. Huh? Yeah, do the fuck I want to do. But I earned that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm still earning it. And there's just so much more I want to do. It just, I'm excited for 2023. But I guess, I mean, just accomplishing it and being able what I did. And okay, I'm, I'll take that back. Biggest accomplishment is connecting. See, like I'm able to put dots together, like boom, boom, come here, you come here. Like I work on a jumper, right? Like you for you for shout out my boys, they're coming on this motherfucker. But like I'll bring them here and I'm able to be like, oh well look, you fools ever met the homie, I don't know, one tick J, one tick J, there's like Gusto Papa, their their thing is based off careers, but you should go on there and get a new fan base. Boom. I do a lot of that and, and, and I love that. I think that's like a dope thing where I'm able to connect both my worlds, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's Help, pretty bad. Helping people out too, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. Who do you owe your success to? Fucking nobody. I did this shit. No, I'm just kidding. Like how Snoop Dogg said. Him. Snoop Dogg said, "Shout out to me." Nah, yeah. Shout out me for working hard, but shout out my homies and my and my. Fa- shout out my mom, bro. Shout out my mom. Shout out my sisters and my homies for keeping me humble always. That's really who I owe it to. Whenever, whenever I have some dope shit, my like I'm doing the novo. You feel me? Like whenever I have like dope shit like that, like. Really? Hey, brother, I think you my deserve list. a shot. I'm like, yeah, my oh yeah, come on, pour me one. Like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, my list gonna be a little long, fool, but I gotta bring everybody with me. Oh yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, here you go. This is real good, by the way. The potion, Thomas Jefferson's hey, potion. Oh, you act that like that was the other way. Kiko, nah, you didn't even you act like, you act like you, bro. Yeah, Kiko you will go to the club, go back home like that. Samarita I, going to the that club after this. Go watch Edgardo today. Hey, hey, I know. Did you hear? And you know what he said? You know what he says? I go work. Salud. Put a gusto up out there. He's like, he says he goes to network and then do no ya nos dijo que nomás se va a poner. Because like super drunk. Like that one was strong. It's good, huh? Nope. It's good, way. Nope. No, you want another shot? Que con nomás sabe de bucana. Fuck no, she's alcoholic. She got a problem. Leave her ass over there. I feel like that. She need AA meetings. I feel like that. Damn, bro. I think you deserve a shot because you were able to do a lot. Oh, I thought he said no. I was like, oh shit. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I got to drive. That's what I thought to get no, shot. No, no, like, I want to oh, no. get to get shot. <laughs> Damn, this like, food. you deserve a shot because, like, you've done so much in a short amount of time. You're Hispanic. Yeah. You, know, you grew up in LA. You're putting us, you're putting out you're there for us, us, you know, on the map. map you know, yeah. You're, you're working in and Mexican movies. space and in the hip hop American scene as well. Yeah, see, that was like, like, even you guys, bro, like, I called this fool, like, bro, you forgot, like, Tokisha. I was like, I'm happy for you. For what I tell you, yeah. no cap. I called you, no cap. I called this fool, I was like, you forgot Tokisha. You niggas earned that shit, fool. You fools, like, I'm I'm happy you fools got that way because we're getting recognition, bro. Like, this yeah. is what it's for. Like, like I was telling you guys about something I want to connect behind the scenes, like, two artists I want to put together. But, like, I love connecting dots. I always tell people, bro, Mexicans buy tickets, dog. Yeah, Mexicans fucking um, buy merch. Mexicans yeah. would travel two, three hours to go see you. Like, mm-hmm. this is what the fuck we do. So I'm like, and shout out the people that are open to like learning this shit. But like, yeah, man, connecting, connecting the hip hop and the reggaeton and the and the paisa shit, connecting it with this. Like, I brought one tick J to um an event called Reggaetonlandia, which is a very successful reggaeton event created by Mexicans, Latinos as well. You know? Shout out to Deep, Chris Carrera, and, and et cetera, et cetera, Petey Pablo and them. But they're a team that built off reggaeton that are connecting the EDM world, and I love that. But I was able to, I was like, hey, fool, I'm going to bring Woob. And I brought one take J to listen to, um, you know, fucking one, two, three, and there was fucking people shaking ass, and one take J was going up to Bad Bunny, and he's now yeah. dancing, and 
you know, events like that, I'm able to connect. Like, I'm planning some shit. I'm going to speak it into existence here. Um, I've worked with Red Bull plenty of times, and I want to do, like, a Latino mixer where you fools come and my homies from Houston come and whoever I know from here and promoter from here and fucking, I don't know, whoever the fuck follows me that looks like me. Come kick <laughs> it, bro. Like, let's network. We're like, why are you not coming on these fools podcasts? Yeah. Like, what's the excuse, bro? Like, come sit down with the motherfuckers. Like, why are you not interviewing them? Why are you not, why is your merch not being done by them? Yeah. yeah. Like, Damn. yeah, I do work that, but everybody, like, I I interview a gang of Latinos, TikTokers, influencers. Since I've been on No Jumper, I've, I've been blessed to, like, I interviewed Farruko on No Jumper. Oh, yeah. I and, saw and, that. And, and, and that was it's cool. Like, like, I didn't specifically do that play, but whoever did it behind the scenes, I told Adam and them, they were like, is it a good idea? I was like, he's big, you know, but I was able to, like, I was like, I interviewed, but I also was kind of there to translate. Mm -hmm. But it was still dope to, for me to be able to go back and forth and explain to a white man why this dude's one of the greatest to ever yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to bring Nivel Codiciado on no jumper and have the crowd, the, the chat go crazy when they're singing fucking um, whatever song they were singing. I'm able to do shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So shit like that's always dope. And, and I love seeing people be surprised how big our fan bases are. You know what I mean? And that's always the vibe. Damn, I Seeing how you um, said you like the mixer and seeing like you know why aren't you on this podcast and yeah. why I think that's really cool. I think that that speaks a lot for you and how yeah, you know you, just you have power you're looking out for network. people and and like the culture itself too. You know to elevate it. Nah, yeah, man, that's 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 what we gotta do, bro. Like we are Mexican. Like when you when he told me the date, I was like, oh yeah, I'm up there. Come on, I'm up there. Yeah, that's easy. Like you know what I mean. And and if we're all, fool, because if you fool win, I win. You know what I mean? Like. It's if like if I team. win, like if I'm able to, like if you fool one of the artists that you've seen me work with, I'll be like, hey, well, look, my boys is popping. They've done this artist, they've done this artist. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, what you trying to do, fool? And I'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 come on, boom. You know what I'm saying? So, like, shit like that is like, it's like, it's like, you feel me? You got to connect and work. And that's what it's all about, bro, building, you feel me? And you fools are doing a great job. I got to give y'all flowers. The way y'all do it Thank with, with artists Appreciate and a podcast it. that I've seen grow since, like, from what I've since when I've seen it, you was had multiple big artists, and um, hey bro, keep growing. But that's what it's about, dick. Like, why you mad, fool? Come on, let's talk. Let's let's drink a little bit. Let's. I can celebrate. Yeah, let's club together. Whatever the fuck we doing, let's figure it out. You know what I mean? But let's work. Yeah, hell yeah. And what's some advice you could give to like the audience watching out there and want to like pursue the dream or become something that they're not comfortable in? Like, what's some advice you could give to them? Um, I mean, I would say like Latinos, what you're talking about, right? Like, brown, yeah, like, brown, like, I mean, we're all still kids, bro. I'm only 22. These fools are not, they're working the same age or a year old apart. Fool, you fools just do it. Like your parents, us being Latinos, it is hard. Yeah. Because yeah, your yeah. parents come here, you're like, you want to be on TikTok? Like, like, like I crossed the border for you to be on TikTok? <laughs> like, like, chill the fuck out. Like, it's going to work out. Just relax. But yes, like, man, follow your dreams. Just be unique though. Be unique. <laughs> What they have is unique, bro. What they're doing with... There's a reason they're successful, you guys. It's not because they sat here in their industry plans. No, what they're doing, the people they interview, the people they connect with, your knowledge on... The knowledge you would have on the corrido music... Thank you, bro. Because yeah, I've just been listening to baby shit. Sometimes I'll be on your story like, oh, what the fuck? I'll be screenshotting the song and shit. <laughs> I didn't know about that shit, but yeah, man, you just got to like be genuine, have fun, and do it because you want to do it. Don't do it because it's forced and you see yeah. people like us doing it. Now, like if you're meant to be the fucking best construction worker ever, then be that. You know what I mean? Construction workers make a lot of money, motherfucker. Yeah. So I'm not hey, saying that in a bad way, but I'm just saying that like whatever you're good at, make sure you succeed 100%. You know what I mean? And then, like, some people are afraid to, like, deal with hate. So, like, how do you deal with it? Like, does it get to you? Do you, like, just let it go? Yeah, we don't know. Fuck no. I would have heard everything about me. I read some comments and I was like, oh, that's good. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do I deal with it? He's like, that's I going on, like, bro. Wow, that was a really good fucking joke. Like, fucking you text him, it's like, hey, bro, have you ever considered comedy? <laughs> <laughs> have you considered comedy? I was like, bro, you have untapped talent. Yeah, I've I've definitely I've definitely like um I've read some comments and I'm like, I never looked at myself like that. <laughs> <laughs> People have told me some fucked up shit, oh, dog. Yeah. Oh man. But I've been fat my whole life, so I've I, I if I have to be good at jokes. Like, but you, like if all my friends are skinny, I'm gonna be the number one target. Like, you know what I mean? Me. <laughs> <laughs> me? Oh, you, <laughs> yeah, I seen the video, you were a little big. You're not that big now though. 
I don't get in there. <laughs> yeah, but like it was, but it was like, yeah, it was like, I used to be like, damn, I gotta be good at these. I gotta, I gotta come back faster. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, nah, nothing. Just don't listen. If you read comments, it's gonna get to you. Yeah. You're like, yeah. damn, I sound stupid, huh? Damn, but also on the other side, when you get the most bad comments, it's because you're on people's for you pages. Facts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we get mm -hmm. called no sabo kids, we're like, fuck it, we made it to the for you. Page. When it gets at least a yeah. hundred likes on a no sabo comment, that's like, a good day. Do you right consider there? yourself as a no sabo? I don't know. Y'all the real Mexican. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a real no. Mexican, but like, <laughs> but like, but like, I, like what's an, like, I, I do think it's embarrassing if you don't know Spanish. And you can't have to be Mexican and don't know, motherfucker. Why don't you know? You're, but I feel like some of you guys are second generation, third generation. I still feel like you should know Spanish. It's hella cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when I'm with all like my no jumper homies, they're all black and like white. And the lady hears me talk Spanish. She's like, <gasps> and I'm like, see, hola, doña, buenas tardes, como esta? Me puede dar tres tacos de esto, tres tacos de What do you want, fool? Oh, thanks. You know what I mean? It's just yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. They, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But we're also, there's also an advantage. Mm -hmm. I could listen to Ivan Coronejo all day, but I could go back and listen to fucking YG. Mm -hmm, yeah. I could get drunk. To Fuerza Regida, but also get drunk to Blast. If I want to listen to some fucking real hip hop shit, I could go back and go listen to Chalino. So it's it's fun. Yeah, yeah. it's like double culture, you know. You could yeah, fit in both, like, both worlds. Like, bro, people people uh, people don't know be knowing about Tinga. Oh, Tinga is fucking. Boring. And I'm like, you don't know what Tinga is. They're like, now nah. I was like, oh my god, I'm like, <laughs> like hard. Like, <laughs> he's like, it's on chilaquiles. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, you've never had chilaquiles. They're like, nah, cause the breakfast I'm like, chips. Oh, my, don't they do come it, here for. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's not a bad thing if you're if. But I feel like it. it it's I feel like you should know. Yeah. But maybe Spanish was my first language. I was an ESL kid, so like my mom, I know like like everything like Spanish completely. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think I'm on Osabo, right? Oh, <laughs> for us, Keko. people people tell us that we're not like, no, no sabo. Keko. Keko. No, no, no. No. But but what is the no sabo? Like you speak um, it like backwards. I feel I, like, like when you're. I, I think if you're Portugal. able to like, you know, talk to someone and you know, understand each other without like butchering, uh, like knowing at least half of the stuff, I think you'll be all right. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think I'm cool. But people, that's like the number one comment that people think it bugs us. Like yeah. that shit does not get to me. You telling me I look like a certain person that I never thought of gets to me like, <gasps> like what? somebody called me like a pocket-sized Samoan before. <laughs> and I was like, holy <laughs> shit. Hey, who, why y'all laughing, bro? <laughs> but I was like, I was like, oh Yo, my. using that one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, they're gonna call me. They, dude, hey. when, I was, when I was hitting the gym, this was call, started calling me, me uh, what is it? Uh, a midget bodybuilder, midget, midget door, or fucking midget bodybuilder. I was, I was short. It wasn't us, but hey. But like, that shit was coming in. I was like, damn, you know. Like, nah, but yeah, when I was a fool, somebody called me a pocket size Samoan. I was like, <laughs> like it was, it was a real good joke. But yeah, like if you call me on Sabo, it's not gonna hurt me. You guys gotta yeah. put a little more effort into him. Yeah, but but I do think I feel like if you're Latino, I feel like you should know. I feel like you should learn Spanish, even if yeah. you don't know it. Like learning, that's just fun. Like, yeah. yeah, like it's not, it's not even like, oh, you have to. But I think life's better. Oh, like, but what we? I was kicking it with these fools at a Junior Archie concert, but I could go with them to the club and we'll sing to like whatever artist is playing, and it's different, you know. Mm -hmm. It's about and you, and, the fun doubles. Yeah, for and you're gonna learn how to dance more music with bitches. Oh yeah, Can like if you know how to dance bachata, it's key. But you know also how to fucking do the fucking tootsie roll? You can knock them all. The you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and hip hop are the same thing. A bitch just twerks on you, you do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But like, if you know how to like a vibe to like some Bino or some Blast, and you also know how to vibe to like some Romeo Santos, and you know how to dance rock in Espanol to some hombre hombre hair or mana like bro you like you feel me? this you, could be like a commercial for like people to learn spanish oh, <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? if y'all convinced by this you'll attend more parties yeah but 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 it, i feel like i feel like you should it's just dope it's a it's a vibe and i feel like if you love music you're missing out on a lot of dumb music if you mm -hmm. don't know spanish mm -hmm. i think spanish music just hits harder oh they were they were said earlier uh could you dance yes like banda and stuff like that? Like banda, reggaeton. I'm the only boy. I have three older sisters. So my sisters would tell me, you'll never get bitches if you don't know how to dance. And I learned how to bachata. I learned, like, my first thing I ever learned how to dance was bachata. No way. Rock in Espanol. Cumbias is a little tricky because that's, that's yeah. shit hard. That shit's spinning. And, and our family are from El Def, yeah. so they oh, dance. This, like, I'd be like, what the? Like, slow down. <laughs> like, calm yeah, down. Yeah. They, they move each other with mm -hmm. one finger, dog. It's like, this shit is crazy. But, yeah, like, bachata, merengue. 
My punta is okay, but my merengue is cool. My bachata is real cool. Um, Corridos and banda is two different things. Banda is a little more sped up. I don't know how to dance Norteña. It's like the whole, like, when, they, when the it looks like they're... Oh, when, yeah. it looks like the they're when it looks like they're doing... Um, the like, um, like squats. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, like, go down hella lane. They, yeah, I don't know how to do It's cool, but it's like, I, could, I, I think I could pass. But I don't know how to dance that, like, too well. But everything else I'm pretty good at. So it's cool. Yeah, I was like, yeah, pilas, And then being, like, Hispanic, too, like, we got the best drinks, too, no? Like... And food. Hey, the mezcal. And food. Another shot, my boy. <laughs> Give my boy another shot. <laughs> dog, dog, I, like it, dog, I showed the homies Bucanas for the first time, and they were like, <gasps> I'm like, with some cranberry, some ice, oh. motherfucker. Some pineapple juice? And they always trip out. How, I mean, people from LA know that Latinos, we drink like fucking, like it's water. Like, water. you know? Yeah, that's right. food, bebemos, you know what I mean? But Fuck yeah. when you go to a party and they see like, you know, they be like, oh shit, you food's really like tequila. Tequila's ours. just Tequila yeah, food, you know what I mean? Shit. So, yeah, but yeah, we got the mezcal food. What? Shit's fire. That was real good. Yeah. Do you drink beer or just tequila? I don't drink beer. When I'm, but I'm blacked out, yeah. <laughs> Wait, why do you, I have a question. Why don't you drink beer? Um, I stopped drinking beer when my homies passed away, but then now I don't drink it because I'm also like on a weight loss journey. Oh, that's true. So, like, fuck, for no matter. Yeah, but I heard beer. That shit gets get you blown away. Yeah. Yeah. You there was a time where. You drink we, beer? Fuck you a lot. Modelo? Nah, Ultra. Well, Pacifico and Mo sometimes Modelo, but more than Ultra. Yeah. Ultra, see, Ultra's good. I've, I've like, been two beers, whatever. But if you have more than three, then no. And I drink. But, but, I, but I mean, if you're going to drink, you're not only drinking three. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Drink some beatbox or something. Oh, that shit fucks you up. Oh, that's tequila. There was this time where we would uh, shotgun. Every, uh, every We would shotgun beers every or Ultra's single chance before, we had. The, before the podcast. So, like, the podcast would be fucking late. Oh, so you were just bad off the Yeah, yeah. Right? So we were like. It tastes like water, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But ya nos pusimos serios. Yeah, yeah, no more, no more playing around. No more playing around. <laughs> no, we after went to see Edgardo after. <laughs> we went to a trip. Bro, the only thing in the refrigerator is ultra. Like, no, no water. water, no, no water, Gatorade, no. no nothing, just ultra. Nah, yeah, if, if like when, we, when me and the homies go on trip, we get like waters. I put all the homies on sparkling water. How's I like drink? Sparkling water. Like, well, now that I, cause like, I don't drink soda no more. Mm -hmm. So like spark, but sparkling water is still bad for you guys. You guys don't drink too much. I only drink it when I'm gonna like eat because it feels good, like you know, el gas and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But other than that, shit, sp good sparkling water with your tequila. It might taste nasty as fuck, but just pour a little bit of lemon, you'll be alright. Have you tried it with tequila? What? I want mineral. Yeah, yeah. Oh tequila. yeah, I want mineral. And like if I'm like at a paisa paisa and they bring me the little jarrito up, the white one, the white one. <laughs> yeah, 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 nah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. <laughs> Damn, Damn, in, in terms of like being an influencer and like the space that we're in, where do where do you see like yourself going? Where, yeah, like where do you see yourself going? Well, I'm, man, I'm happy that I'm not like in like like I know influencers be going through it when they're like in the like like in the makeup industry. Like I've talked to um like Jenny before. She's a, Jenny sixty nine is a good homegirl, but like I know like like when they're in that scene like that, you know, it's a little it's, it's a little more sensitive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Bro, I don't give a fuck. fuck. I talk my shit. Say what the <laughs> fuck I want. I don't be wilding, but like I, I know I like. Yeah. You know, I'm. I, we're a little more liberated to say what we want and our opinions. You know what I mean? But man, just gotta keep growing. And I feel like Latinos, we're taking over right now, man. We killing. Like, I think we're like on our golden age. Dog, it's cool to be Definitely. Mexican. Just Latino. Like, Latino. if you look like any five of us, you you winning. Yeah. You got <laughs> it right now. Just <laughs> figure it out. You with feel me? Everything with music. Yeah. On not all soccer. aspects, everything. Not soccer. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I'm we're soccer. fucking. Not soccer. Though. Mexico, boxing, figure it the boxing, fuck boxing, out. Yeah, soccer, hey, no. No, the seven. Get that coach out of here. Get fucking piojo back on the hole. Whatever, Tiki, Tata, Titi, whatever that fool's name. Yeah, we don't know. But bring piojo back. We just know y'all back. <laughs> and then talking about like the stuff that you were saying, how you're gonna do movies. The Red Bull stuff, like, do you have like a manager or someone like guiding you? Yeah, man, shout out, man, shout out, Cali Shishani, man. You feel me? Um, yeah, bro, my dog's been there with me since I was like way before I popped off, and he's not Mexican at all. He might as well be now, but <laughs> he's the homie's. Um, he's a white man that's African that's Catholic. Just, oh. um, let, let that sink in real quick. A white man that's, that's African, African that's Catholic. Catholic. That's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the homie's from Africa. He was born in. Cape Town. I forgot he was born. Oh, don't look at me. Something, <laughs> something with an S. But Senegal. He's Catholic and um, so shit like that. You know what I mean? But, but the homie, yeah. But the homie's he's been with me through everything. I have a dope team around me, and we just figured it out. It's just really me and him. But I have other people that just contribute and help, and and you know, and fucking just. 
want to see me succeed and whatever I could do for them, they could do for me and back and forth, you know? You think it's important for a content creator to have someone like that, like a manager? If you're doing more than just content, yeah, hell yeah. Like, I think if, like, I do a lot, fool. I fucking, you know, Jumper, Brown Bag, Cheese Man with Duno, I host clubs, I do fucking events, yeah, like shit like that, contracts, yes. Yeah. But I feel like if you're just doing YouTube and it's just you, you'll be trying to. It's, it's a little, but I love what you are doing. Like you fools are like being able to get different artists and go to and throw your events and podcasts and stuff, bro. That's that's when you need somebody to help because yeah. we only know so much. I don't know to this day. I don't know how to send an invoice. He makes it <laughs> <for me. laughs> yeah. to this day. I don't know how to invoice. That's, that's I know. I, I know. I asked you off camera, but how much do you dedicate to your day, like with social media and stuff like that? Um. Like today, like today I was um, today it was like a little chill day. Today's like, I mean I was on the phone about a gang of shit, like on the phone a lot. But today just you guys, like today it was just you guys. I plan, I plan around. But sometimes I have like real long days where it's like a like a, I'll be I'll be at I'll be at the office or at brown bag for five plus hours, six plus hours, and then I, and then I'm always thinking of new skits. Like right now if Keiko, let's say me and Keiko start arguing about the tequila. I'd be like, oh my God, I could do a skit about this. And then I'll write it down and then I'll go home and maybe think about how to do a skit mm -hmm. and like think of new YouTube ideas, like vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah. But not, not it's not like every day I'm on social media. Mm -hmm. But definitely want to connect, you know, build content. In 2023, I'm trying to be a little more busy every day. 2023, I want to be busy as much as I could fucking be busy. Like I want to be busy every day except for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I just want to be, con you know. What do you have planned for your birthday? I don't know, get some money, go to clubs, and they pay me, come with the homies, hmm. get drunk. It's, it's a vibe, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. For my birthday, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get booked in Arizona or Houston. So if you want to cut, you've been to Arizona? Yeah. Once. One, One, yeah. Well, okay. Damn, but mine was moving different because I was like, oh, you know, he's going to throw a party somewhere. Maybe get a grupo. He said, like, no, I'm going to go to the club. I'm going to get no, paid. No, 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 no. I always, I didn't know you guys this year, but I always do something big for myself. Mm -hmm. So just know last, yeah, like last year, um, Alex Favela performed at my shit. But I was like my boy, but I had everybody, you know, the whole No Jumper team, different influencers. But I also had all my day one homies, homegirls, people I went to high school with. It was, my party was a vibe. This year, I got y'all. My birthday's in March. So March. What day? March? Because his birthday's in March, too. What Where day? March what? 21st. March 9th. Oh. Wow, he has the same birthday as my homie that passed away. That's crazy. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. It's a positive thing. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man, March, we're going stupid. We'll get a group, but yeah, come kick yeah, it. Yeah, so y'all couple put these apart. Because you're in between 23, you're in between 23. Yeah, man. The golden, the, the, the fucking, the Jordan here. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're a Pisces? I, I think so, yeah. Them, but I don't know. The I thing. think yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I use my... Because I think like, it's like at the cutoff or something. Yeah, if I use my sign for everything. That's my excuse for everything. It's like, oh, it's because I'm a Pisces. And like, why you mad? I'm a Pisces, bitch. Leave me the fuck alone. Do <laughs> yeah. you actually believe in that, though? Like the... When I read some of the shit, I'll be like, whoa, this sounds exactly like me. Too <laughs> like, um, Like, she always goes like, oh, you got female tendencies. Like, you're always <laughs> complaining. I'll be like, what the fuck? But then she'll be like, oh, it's because you're a Pisces. I don't, I don't, I, I expect that from you. He's like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you That's mad because I want to see you? What the fuck? You know? All right, guys, we're back. <laughs> Compaduno said he's going to take another shot with Gecko. Oh, Dwight, me? Gecko's going to take a I shot mean. for my boy, Duno. No. We're going to go to, um, yeah. what's that for the name? Edgardo. 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 We're going to Malecon after this. It's <laughs> Hijo de Barron. Yeah. Shout out to my boy, Luis. Shout out to my boy. Que nos va a dejar entrar. Shout out to the compas, Luis from Malecon. We all bought on Friday, pull up. I thought you were mad at him. Who? Luis. No. The last time we went, like, he charged you, like, Oh, oh no, that's no, true. That's different though. That's Tell your different. story. What that, happened? No, nah, I can't. Shout out to my boy. <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to go in free. He started getting charged for like a bottle and, and the sea. Damn, the he's instigating. He said, <laughs> he's I'm going to talk about it. My but boy, he was my mad. Boy. No, it's I've good. never seen Gecko mad at too, too, bro. Gekko my boy is a pro is. instigator. I'll tell you that. He's a pro instigator. Yeah, he's an instigator. Luis, don't listen to him. Luis. But I'll pull up later. back to do no. Bro, we know that. You know, you take part in No Jumper, and it's a huge jumper. And I think it's really badass that we have someone... My boy's, like, relaxed, the fitted. Yeah, yeah, the fitted is flying, man. It goes like, hard. Shout out Brian Sebastian. But, yeah, man, shout oh, out... Oh, really? Dude. Him? Yeah, Brian Sebastian. He's the one that did my... What, he, what pin, he's on what top of it. What do you have right here? The San Julas? Uh, I think. That's San Julas? Shout out Brian Sebastian. <laughs> I want a hat. Yeah, man. <laughs> shout out San... You know, shout out San Juditas, you feel me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, man, no jumper. Yeah, yeah, man, no how jumper. Do you say, how do you meet Adam from No Jumper? And how do you take part in? Okay, yeah. No so, jumper. man, shout out Rosecrans Vic. 
which is he's like one of my co-hosts on Brownback as well. He was already he had a show there called Matt Lately. He plugged me in with Adam where we did the interview. And we did the interview. Adam fucked me. We clowned, we laughed, we kicked it. And then um shit from there. Hmm. I got offered a job. I did like two pilots and then um I went on the Tuesday show, which is the main show one day. And then he was like, yeah, well, look, this certain individual might not be coming no more, so I want you to be part of it. And if that doesn't work, and then, so whatever, I went on Tuesday, I did okay, and then I went on Wednesday. And then I went on Wednesday. He was supposed to be on the Wednesday show, but he got sick. He's like, dude, no, you want to pull up? I was like, oh, I'm on my way. I actually, I seen his story like, hey, I'm sick. I won't be able to make it, but make sure you tune in. And I was like, I'll pull up, fool, I'll pull up. And I, I only live like 15, 30 minutes, 15 minutes away, but it was like traffic time. So I got there like a little late, but I got there, I killed it. I went to Houston. And then when I came back, when I landed back, um, it was a good birthday gift. They texted me that Saturday and they were like, hey, you're on No Jumper now officially, man. Welcome to the Wednesday show. Shout out yeah. ID and T-Rail, man. And then now I've been part of that motherfucker for some, for some legendary stuff, some bad stuff, some cool stuff, controversial stuff. And we vibing, we up there, man. We it survived. And are you signed under no jumper or nah, 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 there? nah, not like sign, but you feel me? We got like this verbal, like I don't know, like I work there. Compromiso. Yeah, like like I could quit right now if I want, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, shout out no jumper, man. It's a blessing. Shout out Adam. Shout out the whole team. What Mexican yeah. artists would you like to bring on no jumper? Ooh. Who would make the most? I remember sense? when we saw you. I don't forgot where. But you were talking about how like, you, would, you really wanted to bring um, I think so. Grupo Firme. I really want to bring Grupo Firme to No Jumper. I would That's love crazy. to bring Fuerza Regida. Um, it might be a little hard for Junior Acha. He's just a little more mellow. But Jail, like he, you know, he's just an introvert. Like his personality, you could tell. But like Fuerza Regida is wild. Like Le gusta yeah. peda, like no? Pelon and fucking Jail oh, and Chris and them. Funny as like San Manuel is a little more quiet, but like. Mm -hmm. The rest of them they'll be they'll make they'll make great content, you know what I mean? Um, um I would love to bring like a not like like reggaeton. I would love to bring Anuel. Ooh, Anuel got a dope shit. personality. Um a couple people, whoever, I mean, fuck, come fuck around, you know what I mean? You know, come tap in if you trying to go on no jumper. I got y'all, man. Hey, pop. shout out to Toro. You watch this? Shout out to my boy Toro. Oh, okay. shout out Toro, yeah, man. Shout out Toro and them. Shout Toro. out to LP. Bring them on, bring them on. Yeah, I put up on them a long. I put up to their house a long time ago. I showed the vibe. The carnita sa. I put up when they were rehearsing, actually. Oh, that's lit. Damn. Put up, I got. Uh, it was a vibe. I did like two skits. They did really good. And did I know this is kind of random, but did you grow up listening to Mexican music or? You kind of started getting into it because it turned more kind of like mainstream to. Listen yeah, yeah, to like now music. it's cool. Like if you listen to Corridos back then, you were a paisa. Yeah, yeah, you were like, oh, that was a beaner. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a beaner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, um, yeah, I was, I, I, uh, the first like Corridos, Corridos, I remember like listening to remember word for word was Arely Perez. Oh yeah, and that fu I, yeah, like that fu I love his music. He's music. to this day. That's like the me and the homies when we get drunk to something is Arely Perez. You know. Soldado Blanco, um, La Venganza del M1, Shaleta, those are like yes. our songs to go. Like, if we get a grupo, you better know these two songs, motherfucker. But um, Spanish music wise, it was all rock and Espanol. El Tri, Mago de Oz, um, Caifanes, Cal Damn, fucking El Aragán. Los babies. Los, los, who's that? This shit happened years ago. This shit happened years ago. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, down, okay. Bro. guys, guys. No. In Mexico. We don't like to make fun of Keko, okay? But oh, yeah, a yeah. veces dice cosas. Los babies. Bro, this babies happened like lit. years ago, and I remember where. What is those babies? Someone said, what? Los bro, babies? I'll, I'll show you after. They they get down. Some like super underground <laughs> group that. Nah, it's they're like, like a big Keko's neighbors in Mexico. Your neighbors? Those babies? Yeah. That rock in Espanol, bro? Yeah, you want to hear some? I'll show you because I feel. <laughs> Watch it now. It's going to get copyrighted, my boy. Yeah. I'll show us after. Yeah, I'll show you after, mejor. Los, los, nah, I never heard of them, but like. Oh. El Aragán, fucking lead and roll. My boy's certified. You feel me? El Tri, fucking. I, I listen to a lot of ska music. Do you know what ska is? Mm -hmm. So like kind of like Inspector. Inspector. Uh, Red yeah. Store Bum. But my parents were rockers all around, so. A lot of music I grew up to was like 
the Ramones, the Doors, Pink Floyd. Oh, that's sick. I feel like those um, are the cool parents. Yeah, hell yeah. So just rock and shit, you feel me, really? Like the hippie kind of... And, and cumbias, but just hella rock, hella rock. Family's like a big rock family. What about like the new Mexican artists? Yeah, yeah. You know? Who's you who's like? on your playlist Jeez. from the new oh. people? I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys. Let's see. Like um, Corridos? Yeah. Oh, or like damn. even like junior age type shit, like the sad. Okay, the sad boy shit. I got, a lot of, I got some Marca MP. Shout out Chato. Shout out Chato. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, that's what I'm fucking with you? He, like he don't like you? Well, there's a misunderstanding. Oh. We still haven't <laughs> talked to him yet, but... What'd you guys say about the boy? Ah, uh, bro. No, 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 no. Tell him. No. You want to know? No, you're, you're... Yeah, I want to know. Right. Yeah. So you saw what happened. You feel, you, you, you feel me? This is the first time we well, see it. Oh, do this? my God. You feel me? I do this on no jumper, you know? We like to... You feel me? We like to get to the meat and potatoes. Like, you know what I mean? I was never planning to see it, but fuck it. Well, right. oh, you know how you got into an argument with this group? There's like an audio that got leaked and everything. Have you seen it? Yeah, I found like 30 groups, huh? Okay. Yeah. So Mira, yo? we saw him the day the audio got leaked, but it got leaked that night. We saw him like kind of like in the morning. Midday, right? yeah, yeah, it was in the morning. But like we what knew was it? What, fuck, what was said in the leaked audio? That like, he was just yelling at them, and I guess he was just saying, what was he saying? Like he was saying that he made them, and like not in the audio. That was like in the text. But okay, this I'm seeing it textually. This is not my opinion. Okay, <laughs> so this what happened. So this what happened. Okay, keep the, going. Well, yeah. the audio, the audio was he was mistreating them, talking down on them. But like, what was he saying? I, I need, I, yeah. I need word he was for like, word, so I could understand if he was being mean or he was just expressing his feelings. You want to hear it? I mean, if you want, I don't know. I could hear yeah, it. Yeah, listen. Or you just tell me. I forgot. What so he, he was just saying, I'll say it because I don't care. But he was just saying, what we do, if you want to come on, we could talk shit here. But, yeah. Um, he was just saying, like, oh, I took you out of your nine to five job. Like, you're here because of no, me. No, but like, like, that wasn't in the audio. That was like in the text that they told the lady who they sent the audio to. Yeah. Okay, there's well, there's an a, audio. Okay. okay. Saying, there's there's an saying, audio. Bro. Yeah. So we saw him in the morning because we went to his press conference for Crypto Arena. He was promoting. And we knew the group broke up, but we went to ask him. Hey, what happened to the group? You know, we have a podcast. We have to like bring. So the at group. this point, he's promo. He's performing by himself at crypto. Yeah, like we don't know who's he's performing with. He did crypto. Yeah, yeah, he did, did crypto, crypto on the Friday, two weeks ago, oh. the second. Oh, did you was beefing with him recently? <laughs> yeah, yesterday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you was. Oh, this is not new beef. It's new no, beef. It's, new, it's beef. new beef. Oh, it's not old beef. No. Oh, this just happened. Yeah, this oh, week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, the Chato shit with us, like, no one really knows wait, about uh, it. Oh, wait, the <laughs> angel. <Yeah. laughs> he takes an angel, so he's, like, mad about it. So we saw Chato, and we, well, we get there, and then, his, like, his publicist comes out or something, right? But we went to ask him, hey, what happened with the group? We want to let the fans know, you know, we're the podcast, like, the platform where everyone listens to. Yeah. We get there, his publicist comes out. Hey, guys, like, Chato does not want to be asked about the group. So we're like, fuck, like, we'll, we'll just be here, but we're not going to ask him shit because he asked not to be the asked media about. not to ask about that. So we see him, we're like, hey, what's up, Chato? That's the first time we meet him. So we're like, nice to meet you, bro. We're kind of shocked, you know, it's Chato. We're fans. He's cool. Yeah. Okay. And then on okay. the podcast, we play the audio. We give our opinions. We're like, we oh, met Chato. But, but then what happened was that we just knew the group broke up. We hadn't heard the audio. We, we saw them in the morning. We heard the audio in and the night. evening. So we only knew that the group had broken up. Yeah. yeah. You guys were the only ones that knew? Well, honestly, we were the one first people that knew, but we didn't drop the... Episode for episode, a while. Like for a while. So it kind of looked like you guys were like being fake. Yeah. Uh, so we play the audio Send. and then we're like, we give our opinions. We didn't talk shit on Chato. And then he texts this fool personally. And then on, uh, he was like, hey, were you guys the ones at the crypto arena? It's so funny how when you guys saw me, you guys were shocked. And behind camera, you guys act like you guys know everything. Um, and it's like, and it's so funny how you guys didn't say it to my face. But we didn't know, they didn't know anything until like later on. And so but no, we, no, not only that, but like we, we actually did go to ask him to his face. Not about, in a bad way, like in a yeah, fight yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, we're media people. Okay, so he's mad that you guys gave your opinions about the audio. Yeah. yeah. What is the, what, what are you saying? He was screaming at his people? He was maltratando. But, but, maltratando, okay, I get into it with my homies. Okay, let's, let's, let's break this down, you feel me? We, <laughs> You feel me? Because that's your guy's space, the yeah. corrido shit. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. like matratando to me, this is just to me. Like if you're throwing, sh like if, okay, me and Jakarta, Jakarta, if you guys don't know what Jakarta is, but he's like, shout out Jakarta, but he's like one of my homies that's now doing this shit with, inst with, with the music shit. Yeah. I'll play you guys some unreleased shit. So look, this is, sorry, but this is some of the stuff he said. Okay. Oh, uh, I was going to oh, play shit. it. And he was drunk too. It's me and him. 
And then they start fucking arguing. You have the full thing? Only... Put the play the phone because I only got the. Why is he breathing part. hard? They squabble. They 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 got down like they threw. Well, we don't no, know no, if they no, got no. down. Okay. We don't know if they got down. Oh, that's that's what he takes that back. That's the back. Yeah. Yeah. It sounded like they squabble. It's like fuck you. He so, didn't talk to I you. So I guess well people from his team from Malcolm Fs say that like he gets drunk a lot. That's why the road manager left. That's why like the group left. Oh, uh, it's like it's like it's like behind the scenes shit. Yeah. I mean like this is my opinion on it right because. I mean, to me, by the way, your music is fire, my guy. Shout out your music, fool, because you do it. You make great music, but like, I mean, you can't tell people that you got him out there nine to five. It's kind of like, like, don't do something that you're gonna throw in my face later. But I think that's just with any situation, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I would never be like common knowledge. Like, I would never be like, like with J with the homie Jakarta. But I'm a comedian. I I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a comedian. You feel me? Don't get mad if you don't think I'm a comedian. But I'm like, fool, like. Stop crying, fool. Like, you'll be all right. You know what I mean? Like, with me yeah. and Jakarta, and I'm talking about how me and Jakarta play, I'll be like, I'll be like, wow, I started your career like that. Cool, 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 cool. But I never mean, you never mean that, bro. That's yeah. crazy. That's like, show, as, as, you know? Like, but this is his first group, this is what he started with. Second. Second. So, like, he already has. And every single Musigo like. and the road manager left. So, who's he performing with now? Oh, it's like random. Some random Musigo. The, people that, the people that gotta, like, figure out how to play this. Yeah. Game. Yeah. I mean, you know, benefit of the doubt. Who knows behind the scenes? What if them fools said something to him and he just yeah. was like, "Well, fuck you, fools." Yeah. But you can't, you can't be like, "Hey, you do fucking nine to five. Like that's kind of like, I don't know. That's like telling somebody like, "I made your career now. Fuck you. Get the fuck out and yeah. figure it out." He would like. I heard too that he would like kick them out of like the Sprinter van, like leave them on yeah. the road. That was like through text. Was the person who recorded sent to the lady who leaked it. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't know. Maybe they just need to get squabbled out the way. You feel me? Like, hey, I need that real quick. But we didn't <laughs> leak it. But he's mad at us. Yeah. Oh, so somebody leaked it. You just reacted to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what podcasters do. Yeah. That's how we get paid. Just how you get paid to get drunk and bitches throw your bras and you sing. That's how you make your money. That's how we make our money. You know what I mean? But I, I think you took it personal, to be honest. I mean, I'm pretty sure that fool's going through a lot right now. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know people him. seeing him like in a bad way. And media always portrays shit crazy. Yeah, for so sure. So I'm again, sure. I, I don't know him from what I've seen, though. He seemed like a dope person. I always see him kick it with my boy Santi. They do a lot of like him. Is, like Santi fucks with him tough. But he's, I love his music. You know, my respect to his music. But oh, like, yeah, it's fucking good. Yeah, don't get drunk and like. Throw shit in people's faces. That's what anybody though, fool. But I feel like if, you know, we're guys, fool, get the squabbles out the way. They go get down somewhere. Well, if me and my homies feel on top of way, fool, I need that, fool. <laughs> but if you're in a group, you're supposed to know that leadership comes with that. Yeah. Example, bro, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. I just went to the bay for a trip to link up with all these different artists, media people. I paid for the whole trip. Gas, sprinter, hotel. Shit. Everything. But I paid for that. But I wasn't like Jakarta. Well, I paid for the hotel. <clears throat> Never. Well, yeah. I, and, and I went with a gang of the homies. It was me, the homegirl Nat, the homegirl Jizz, Jakarta, the poet, fucking my cameraman, my manager, his girl, none of that. And, and it, whatever people wanted to buy themselves, that's cool. But I paid for the essential shit. The big ass room that I got that had like two rooms in it and like gang of beds and the sprinter and shit like the gas. But I never was like, oh, well, I paid for gas. Because you don't do that. If you're doing something and you're a group, you're supposed to lead. Yeah, for sure. Like, if somebody don't got it, I got you. Fool. That's, that's what homies do. But who knows behind the scenes, but it sounds crazy. Like, damn, I got y'all your nine to five. I'm going to need a fade, too. Like, yeah, so he took it him personally. So he, he was like, like, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, will be all right. he, tell him, come on here. He's like, tell him he's like, he did Angel. You replied with a dumb up? No, he replied on the... the nah, no, no, well, let, let him speak. Let, let Angel speak. Let Angel speak. Well, damn. I, I consider myself a pacifist. You know, like just yeah, a, yeah, a super love, calm, love, love. calm person. It really caught me off guard. It's true. I hadn't even like checked the DMs like all day. He sent me that like at 10 in the morning. I saw like 8 p.m. And that was... I mean, that just was sucked that he made it seem like... Because, you know, we are fans. We're fans. And still that, that's, that's Yeah, we're still fans. And he was just like, oh, well, why are you just acting like fans that were shocked to see me? And why didn't you tell me all this? But we, we just didn't know about it. Um, but it sucks you had to text me. Text somebody else. <laughs> like, text one of them. Why me? Wait, so <laughs> why don't you send the link to the podcast? No, I tell her, take it up with Augusto. Yeah, he was like, go message Augusto, Papa. <laughs> and he replies on Augusto, Papa. 
Look, bro, he's not gonna see it. No, no, I, I think I mean shit. Bro, I don't know, bro, man. It, just, it was just misunderstanding. But bro, come on here, yeah. Like I've 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 done podcasts with people that I've had disagreements with. Yeah, it's like the like best. It's, it's just bound to it's just bound to happen, you know. Having arguments is like normal, but the audio does sound a little crazy. But who knows? That fool's a good people from what I know. He's good people from what I've seen. You fools are a little more in that world, so you guys know like the behind the scenes shit, but. Back to my playlist. <laughs> and I want to say, Chato, I think it's all a misunderstanding, but yeah. we'll reach out to you soon. Yeah, shout out, Chato. You want to come on a jumper talk set up on a gusto, Amy? Hey, hey, <laughs> That's what podcasts do. That's what podcasts do. That's right what podcasts do. Those are the best. Yeah, but yeah. of you, you, know? you know how to double Nah, but yeah, you fools just, you fools reacted to something that the rest of the media is reacting to, but obviously. And people uh, ask us Okay, to so react. that's the thing. That's what, that's what a lot of people think. Get mis, mis, like people kind of forget. Like, they expect us to do media different because we know you guys. But are you yeah. mad at Telemundo? Yeah, so we had one. Are you, like, like if Telemundo calls, I don't know, let's say I screamed at Keko behind the scenes and I told him he was a bitch and no, fuck well, you. And then Augusto comes on here and reacts to it. No, and yeah, I'm, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, fuck Augusto. But then Telemundo does the whole thing and then Telemundo hits me like, we want to do an interview with you tomorrow. I'm going to still go up there. So this is what happened. Telemundo had like their own little space before and like they, they talked to each other and then... I'm pretty sure they, whatever question they asked, they, and they did a voiceover. She's like, oh, y, se, y según que se, la agrupación se broke up because los trataba mal y les gritaba. But that was like the voiceover part. And then they just like asked a different question. And then they put whatever he said after that. So they made it. And it was Telemundo, you know? Smart. They'll ask him like some question that it wasn't that. And then he'll answer it. And then. They'll do voiceover on TV. Yeah, because like, maybe they were also like, oh, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, they game. edited this shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it was like, oh, ¿qué pasó con tu grupo? And then he's like, oh, pues tuvimos algún disagreement, algo así. But then on the voice, so then what happened was like, they do a voiceover, like with the little time when they're like walking and like the little B roll of them walking, it's like, oh, y recientemente la agrupación yeah, se rompió. Like, those little interview B rolls are funny. Yeah, yeah uh, so, so dramatic. Yeah. But yeah, nah, anyway. yeah, I mean, shit, fool, like, yeah, like, I, I think it's part of the game. Yeah, y'all be alright, man. I mean, shit, you fools got Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, What's I like that. that, 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 that like, but yeah, I think like, how old is Chato? Twenty twenty one or one? He's 22? like our age. Yeah, yeah, he's. Oh age. yeah, I get drunk and talk shit sometimes. Yeah, I get down yeah. my home. I think we all do. Yeah, I'll be like, fuck you. Yeah, fucking you know, you know we box. <laughs> You guys box? Yeah, yeah, they actually had. You were drunk. They had no, beef. So they had beef like, at one no, point. like we planned. Oh yeah, like get out your chairs. Like, like yeah, I mean yeah, with the homies. But like disagreements is normal. And even if y'all did break up, man, salute, keep winning to individual parties. But back to my playlist. What's your on your playlist, my boy? <laughs> All right, so, 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 so shout out Marca Me Pedra. They're on my playlist. You feel me? I fuck with him tough. I'm on playlist too. Grupo Firme, Ivan Coronejo, um, a lot of Junior Ache, um. You know, you know who I really fucked with? R.I.P. the guy, man. Clave 51. Oh, yeah. The fool that has El Humilde. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boys was amazing. R.I.P. to him. He, I, I think he passed away from cancer. Mm -hmm. Bro, had an amazing voice. I wish you... Man, fuck. Shit like that sad way. Like, yeah. fuck. But shout out him. Um, I have a lot of Luis Enrico Riquez. Um, I have a lot of, like, low-key corridos, too. Let me see. Ivan Cornejo. I have a gang of Ivan Cornejo. Edgardo Nunes. Um, the song who I've been listening to a lot is Grupo H100. Oh, yeah, they're badass. And um, Los Chavalos de California. Los Chavalos de California. Oh, I got to put you guys on some shit. I think I heard of them. Yeah, I, I thought you fools were the corrido, motherfuckers. Man, Grupo Clasificado gets hard. Gets you hard? Gets you hard? <laughs> <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> gets you hard? I know, one time I said I fuck with Drake. I'm like, Drake makes me horny, but I meant like, when I'm fucking, I'll be listening to some Drake, you know what I mean? But it got, it's not Drake for it happens. <laughs> um, yeah, Los los, los Chavales de, de California, Los Desvelados. Oh, yeah, they're hitting. Shout out Los Desvelados, Eslabón, and let me see. Shout out to Nelly. Love you, Nelly. Eslabón. Oh, and Los Emelos de Sinaloa. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have a lot of gang, like, I have a gang of shouts into, um, you fool know who Anthony Medina is? He has a Nesquik. Oh, oh that yeah, guy, dude, yeah. that song, that song dude, the, bad. You guys should go listen to that song. I'll be mad when these fools only make one song. Like, fool, make more. Like, you're really good. <laughs> yeah, that, like, like, the writing on that's original. And even, like, I listened to um, El Pistolero by El Artista. Damn, and my boys. 
I have a gang of like low key nah. shit that I find like on, on SoundCloud or like my real Paisa homies put me on. Uh, you have any Peso Pluma? Who's that? Oh, you don't know bro. who Peso Pluma is? Say, say it again. Peso, Peso Pluma. Pluma. Peso Pluma? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Diego said that's oh, the next gotta, big artist. Yeah. You gotta, we called it. We were on food community food. This guy? We were on food community. Yeah, bro. His style? I said community. Fire. He looks crazy. Does. Yeah, he the is, AMG yeah. song's good. AMG, listen to AMG, bro. He looked like a school shooter, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he looked hard like, hard? He look, he looked yeah. like the guy with long hair. From, oh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? No, no, no. The guy no, from his, his, Stranger his, Things? His haircut oh, yeah, yeah, goes yeah. wild. What's his name? Yeah, he ugly, know. but I'm a, yeah, but I'm a bump of shit. Nah, his shit goes hard. It's hard? All right, yeah, yeah I got Chocolate Factory. Okay. AMG, El, um, El Relicon. I don't like that song, bro. Fun. He's hard, though? Siempre All right, I'm a fuck with him. The Siempre Pendiente ones too. Siem. Yeah, let's talk some Pendiente. Pendiente. He's hard though? Yeah. I'm gonna go fuck with that. I, I, I have, have one question. One. Since you listen to both English and Spanish. What do I listen to more? No, no, no. Do you think that the oh, Hispanic, oh my God. The, the, the Hispanic industry Keiko. would overcome rap? No. She's talking about if Corridos will ever pass like rap like Drake and shit. Well, I mean, we kind of already hey, did with Bad Bunny. That's a good question Bunny. to ask Duno. No, because no. he didn't do it better. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 you're talking okay, okay. corrido? So actually, oh, you're talking okay. Spanish music. No, no, no. Corrido. No. Corrido. Okay, okay, corrido. Never mind. Because Never mind. in Puerto Rico, they're not listening to corridos. And it's like Grupo Filme can only really perform in the United States and in Mexico. Mm-hmm. And Salvador and Guatemala and Honduras. Yeah, that's Drake a target. could go to the United States. Korea. Jamaica. North Korea. North Korea. A <laughs> uh, Drake could go to um a whole European Drake tour. Drake could go to your, a whole European tour. He could do a world tour. He could do a world tour. Yeah. So it's yeah, but what's the top bit? That's okay, he just he just English. gave you like the most best answer. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, about to argue again. It's oh, kind of like it's kind of like it's an argument. It's kind of like Drake can't go to like okay, it's like this, right? Drake can't go to Mexico. Yeah. But Bad Bunny could go to Mexico. But see, Bad Bunny's like one of the few that could. You think Bad Bunny go to the UK? Nah. Nah, not yet. You never know because I think Drake could at, at clubs they be playing. A Drake lot can't of, go to Mexico. They yeah. be playing a lot of reggaeton. Where? Shit. TJ? Taylor Swift is like huge in Mexico. No, it's because the Mexico fans just, just hit different. Like. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, see, but Taylor Swift, but Taylor Swift is a little, is a white girl that talks about love. And Justin Bieber is a little white boy that talks about love. Drake is a black man that talks about bitches and Roy's Roy's. And, and love. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like always tell people. Lover. Okay, so, so I asked Nivel because he said all this question. Uh-huh. I'm like, wh- like in hip hop, nobody's ever gonna talk about doing coke. Mm-hmm. No, it's looked down upon. We yeah. talk about that shit all day. Yeah. Yeah, like everybody <laughs> just coke is like the vibe. Like, yeah, it's because it, it, cool. it, it depends on Why like. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get it. You oh, <laughs> man. So close to say. No, nah, I don't cook it either. I don't cook it either, but that's like a vibe, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. We wouldn't know. Say no to drugs, kid. Yeah, say no. Don't gang bang. No, we don't do that shit. Yeah, I'm like the only one out of all my homies that doesn't do it. ¿Para qué quiero uno más que con tomar? Nah, because it gets me mad, though, because then I'll be waking up and they'll be like, oh, you're the bitch. I'm like, bitch, because I didn't cheat? Yeah. Like, you haven't slept in 30 days, bitch. God. <laughs> and they look like it, too. Yeah, their jaws be going crazy. They be asking for gum, cigarettes. I'll spike that fucking It's a vibe. People's coming out and shit. What are you guys' favorite corrido artists? And who are your, your least favorite? Oh, Ooh. damn. Favorite corrido artist. Oh, hey, artist. Gusto Papa, answer it. Damn. 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 My boy is Rodriguez. He's your worst? No, favorite. Oh, I want to say, whoa. Worst corrido artist? Holy Jose shit. Jose Torres. <laughs> <laughs> worst? Fuck, I have Or that. least favorite, because. No. Like what's the one by bo- hey, by what metric? What happened? Like by what metric? Like worse as in Mexican like in my original. opinion, like you'll never listen to the shit. No, okay, okay, okay. You dislike their music. Oh, fuck. I For don't know, real? but best I think right now tied Luis R. Conriquez with Tony Aguirre because he also writes like most of his music. Yeah, yeah. Luis R. Conriquez is fire. All right, worse. Tony Aguirre. Yeah, Luis Andres Conrique is bad. Man. What music I can't? Fuck, I mean, there's no music? one I like. I don't know hate. because, like, if I don't like, no, I hate. I, don't... Okay, I just can't. Stand let me tell you like this. Music. Uh-huh. Let me tell you like this. I, I hate banda. Okay, I love Dom Kennedy. I don't. Okay, you, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who Dom Kennedy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't listen to Kendrick all day. I can't. I I I like one two songs from his album. The music is not for me. Uh. 
Drake's new album with 21 Savage, it isn't for me. Um, J. Cole's, like, new, like, damn, from Kendrick wasn't for me. Like, certain people, like, like, I fuck with you, but, like, I don't who like we, this song, do motherfucker. Damn, What's the album know. that dropped no, no. that was... Okay, let's talk about it. Okay. Oh, oh man. Uh, yeah, this yeah. going very quick. Now we back from the break, and the question was... Favorite corrido artist and least favorite corrido artist. <clears throat> What's yours? That's a question for y'all. Nah. Like, oh. nah, what you mean? He's like, just look at that song. I don't know. Favorite right now? Damn. I have a couple, but like two I've been I listen to a lot is probably um Bro, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I listen to? Sorry, oh, that's a good question. I listen to Ivan Coronejo is one of my favorites. That song we hit with them and Slabon is my favorite. Man, oh, Hasta la muerte. Hasta la muerte. No, what, you said corrido or just in general? In general, in general. It could be any Mexican oh. regional. Then I choose Nata, my favorite. And Ivan Cornejo. Mine's, your age. Mine's would be Ivan and I have three. I think I listen to a lot of Ivan. Um, Luis de Ricoriquez is fire. Hard. Ivan, Luis Rico Riquez, and I'm, I'm gonna just say those two, my top. My least, who I don't listen to like that, and. Um, or a genre that, you know, they just kind of. Uh, maybe the Taquacha scene is kind of dead. Taquacha <clears throat> No more Taquacha Um, I mean. I met bro, I met bro, he was cool as fuck. But I never liked his music was um but he's cool, he's cool as fuck. It's Polo Gonzalez. He's cool, but his music was never for me. Um I'm trying to think. I'm like a simple ass fool, so I like shit like that, but I'm not too much of a fan of a lot of the new Nata shit, I'm not too much of a fan of. Uh, hold on back. <laughs> but, hold on but, back. but but his old shit I love. And then I'm pretty sure he's a real cool person, but just all the new shit, I'm like, mm. pretty cool. <laughs> mm. And and like, yeah, pretty much it. Yeah. I think for me, someone who I don't, someone who you look up to, to guy major magallo de oro, tienes nata. Someone who I can't really listen to anymore is probably Tony Loya. Um, for me, it's probably like, no offense, but Yubia. Like, I didn't really listen to any of. Yeah, she's cool though. Like, I, like, 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 I fuck with her. I follow her. Yeah. You know, you know, we a fucking shout out, old girl. Cause I think I'm, a, I'm finna have her on, 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 on the pod. She's cool as fuck. You know, and her story's a little different, but her music was never for me either. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that too. Um, I got my two artists already. All right. So I, oh, I feel like I don't really listen to Polo no more either. I think after like that last song with Ivan. After that. Oh, you know who I really didn't like? Uh. Nah, nah. The the like just like how everybody's not meant to do podcasting, and everybody's not meant to do music, is the dude that owned that record label. That owned that record. I looked through you. Uh, was it with the King record label that they were part yeah, of? Oh, I looked through you. Oh yeah, I can't. Him. I can't listen like to I don't him know or the or the. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about the the TikToker guy, the Wero. Him either. Wero me pe. Him. Him. And who's the other dude? And the other him. That one too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't really listen. I never, that's kind of like SoundCloud rappers to me. I really never listen to his music, like, just more like his TikToks. Their skits are funny. Yeah. El, el, el Wero funny, but, um, yeah. What about you guys? I think for me, I've been listening to a lot of Ivan Cornejo and Nata, and then I don't listen to Legal Siete or Tony Loya anymore. Wait, damn, yeah. He, he, you guys like the new Nata? <laughs> I do. Like the shit with like the Selfies? like Tay and shit, like the like you feel like the shit he did with Steve Aoki. Hell yeah, oh, yeah. I'm he, not, he, I he, wasn't too crazy about, about that. I like that shit fine. too, man. Shout out my guy too, D. He, <laughs> he produced some of that shit. That song is good. I like that shit, but a lot of the other shit I don't like. I miss Onata. Junior H is still. He's coming back though. Onata's coming. Back. It's just like new, like like. <laughs> 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 like, like, like yeah. yeah, fuck it. Like Junior H's new album. Oh, I, I I I it it it's like it it wasn't for me, but. He, as an as an artist, he's one of the best artists I've seen in, in the oh, for sure. And no, I like his other music. It's kind of like when you say these opinions, people be like, "Oh, you don't like." I'm like, "No, fool. I don't expect everybody to like every single skit I do." 
Yeah. But you like some of them, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, you're yeah, not yeah. my, they're not my favorite, but you know what I mean? At least the majority, you know? Yeah. That's what we're or shooting like for. for them to be like, oh, like this episode is whack or this podcast is it's not the best. Like certain yeah. one, like I like when you guys have a guest. I like when you guys don't have a guest. Shit like that's always cool. And then some people get offended when you're like, you tell them like, oh, like, oh, I, I don't like this. But then you like, you dab them up and then they're like, oh, you act fake. But like, nah, it's like. Oh, no, motherfucker, you, 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 you don't have job. yes men around you. It's yeah. Called, they're called yes men. Like, you're cool. You like, have, we're cool direct. friends, you know, but like. I was like, oh, I don't like the way you do this. Oh, and they're like, oh, my, my you don't, it's, you don't it's, do that. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like my homie Jakarta. He makes music. Uh-huh. He'll play me some shit, and I'll be like, bro, this shit is trash. <laughs> but then he'll send it to a bass. Like, oh my god! I'm like, it's cool, different opinions. Yeah, but it's a lot of music. But that 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 three little scene. That's what should have been my three. The mm-hmm. Aldo and the God. What's how do you say? Yeah, I was like, ah, fuck. You? Me, favorite artist. I like Junior Age. Tony Aguirre. Um, Damn, I, he has like I, a different flavor, huh? I really like um, Los Salarios del Barranco. Well, and, bad. of course, uh, uh, Luis R. He's hard. Dude. Marca That's Registrada. Goes, goes pretty hard. <laughs> I know. That's good. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to have to say that many bad ones too. Sheesh. Go on. um, well, I just want to make mentions that I, I hate Banda. I hate Vanda and I hate like the whole tamborazo thing. I think I'm it's, not it's like either. to me, it's Tamborazo's like noise pollution. Annoying, noise pollution. They, they always cool. try to play the instruments as absolutely loud as they can. It hurts my ears. We said artists, though. We said yeah, I, yeah. I, if I hate when I can't hear the artist singing. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I don't like the music. Um, and like the, the watch stuff. I I feel like it's it's out. Which uh, artist? Man, well you know, for a little while, what was his name? Uh, Giovanni and. So it's Costa? Yeah, the one for the ones, the ones with G- DMG. I don't like them no more. Um, and the ones that you guys said. Tony Lawyer. Yeah, the ones that you guys say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking what a dick, huh? <laughs> bro. He's just off camera. Bro, I got too many no more. I got too many beers this week already. Shout out Tony. He's a real good people. I too many beers. I like Tony. Yeah, he's a real good. But it just, it's just like taste, like um. Like a lot of the new shit that um that 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 fucking that I said the patrones drop I didn't really like, mm. but oh, I used to like a lot of their old shit. Just like my boys, group of this quadro, my good guys. But the new shit is is just not for me. Yeah, and you know just just shit like that's normal though. It's dog. Music, and it's okay to have an opinion. Y'all don't have to be with me. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah, it's, it's subjective. So it's a subjective fucking thing. Like yeah, you can't really take it to heart. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, but yeah, there's a lot of people like. I'm trying to think of somebody that my homies were like arguing with me about, like, um, or like I told my homies, I think the person with the best voice ever, like I'd be like, it's fucking out of talk shit, but like El Fantasma, oh, yeah. like bro, voice is a fucking majestic. Crazy. He's dog. Young. He's what twenty seven? I, I didn't know that. Fool looks old as shit, huh? Yeah, he's shut up, bro. He fucking bad. Bitch. He's still in his twenties. But Chona's yeah. love that fool. Yeah. But yeah, I, I fuck, I fuck with El Fantasma a lot. But see, people that are like, like I'm not a fan of like, um. I'm not too much fan of Banda. Except I'm, 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 I love Grupo Firme though. Mm-hmm. I fuck with Banda, but I'm not a fan of like, um, like going to Pico Banda. <laughs> I'll go to get drunk. It's cool to get drunk. Yeah, for the vibe. But it's not like that's my not the main attraction. Music, you know what I mean? But I like I, I like a lot of like like I love Los Desvelados. Shout out Los Velados. I think they're with Rancho now, but yeah. shout out them. I fucking love Los Desvelados. Like, I think. But it's because I can relate to their music more because, you know, they're from L.A., California. I, I relate a little more. But, yeah, like the Shadow Boy shit, I love that shit. I love Ivan Cornejo, fucking salute, my guy. The longest conversation. If they give me some tickets, I'll get the Shadow Boys right here. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite groups is Grupo Intocable. Oh, favorite. Hell, yeah. You don't know like, Pesado, bro? Are so they the fools that yeah, throw yeah. crazy shows? Kekuchi just said yes for no reason. He's a yes man. They, wait, yes they man. throw like crazy shows? Mm-mm. It's it's super, um, it's like regular Mexican music. Go Who's the show? Somebody was telling me about a group. No, like, Los, Inquiet- Los Inquietos. Oh, like, they're yeah. crazy? Oh, those yeah, are the crazy guys, yeah. yeah. It's like... That, that's the one I got confused. Los Inquietos and... Shout out to Los Inquietos. They be throwing beers and shit. Like, yeah, shout out to Los Inquietos. I don't know who the other fools are. Tocable. Suena. Cierra tu sol. Nah. No. Don't ring the bell. Oh, see, I don't fuck with those bookies. No? No? Snooze Fest? Yeah. Snooze Fest, pops. 
Like, 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 I like, like, sad shit. Like, I fuck with Eslav on. What about Los the Limit? Oh, I got some of the shit. La but neta. see, like, you got to make more music, fool. Like, yeah. you know, you even feel me? Um, be more like, like, Daddy there. Lux. The only song I like from that fool is the one he has with Eslav on. Oh, like. who has these two? He has two, which is the one when they're in the LA River. The popping one. Me llamo para confirmar that one. That one, good song. Goaded. <clears throat> Damn. Wait. Do you any? Do you know any like underground, like Mexican, like young, artists? corrido artists? Anyone you want to put a song? Yeah. Oh shit! I'm put you guys. Oh, I mean, I got a little. The guy uh, that wrote them is quick. Wait, did he say who? Who you don't really? Nah, he didn't say none. Oh yeah, nah, he did. Nah, yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. I said Yubia. Oh. Yeah, he don't really fuck with you. Oh, and like, Love the Limit, too. Like, their, their style is not, like... It's because I don't listen to, like, Sereño shit. I listen to, like, more, like, Norteño. You always say that, and then when you tell him to, like... But Norteño, he doesn't know. Like, he doesn't know what to do. He just knows, like, El Nini. <laughs> no, like, I like Código FN, fucking... Oh, you know, that's one group I don't like, Código FN, and, like, the songs they take out. Some of them... It's just my ah, damn. Yeah, it's just... The like, one song they did of, like, Y estaba this guy and this guy and this guy... You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, they, they name, like, all the mafiosos? Yeah, with, uh... Chino and... That, Damn, I bro, hate that, that song, song bro. Me Sorry, you guys. Huh? Oh, my God. Marca me pe? Nah, we don't know. I just fucking with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you say? <laughs> there's a lot of shit that I, like... I mean, I guess I would say those Velados, but you guys already know about them. Um, or, like, coming up, that you're making noise. Have you heard of uh, Grupo Clasificado? I think I have. A fly from them is fucking... Who put you on that? Oh, this fool right here. I think he's with um. Oh, I don't want to play it. I'm gonna just play the. What's his I'm, name? I think he's with Lumbe, Lumbre. Omar? Juan De Ron. Oh, oh yeah. There's so I. I went. I went. I went, I went like the Instagram video is better than the song. Oh, when the live, the previews, no? the dude. That's the thing. Like the, preview, the previews yeah. for some way always hit. Then sometimes they switch it a little bit, you know, they make it a little faster, a little slower, and it's not the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trying to think about what... <laughs> oh, you know what other guy I kind of don't like anymore? Damn, I was talking uh, shit, but I only have one Aldo Trujillo. Larry Hernandez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He I'm doesn't seem the same no yeah. more. What yeah. happened to him? I don't know. His style... When he like... was singing that... Group... Shout out to Lalo, though. Like, he's a bass player, but... Shout out to Lalo. Shout out to Lalo. Oh, we're about to start yeah, so many Lalo, beefs. Okay, Music is... Oh, you know what I got to put you all you guys on? A fucking Diamante Perez. I heard things about him. They played a promo once from us. 1942 or something like that? 1942. That song's good. That I song's like real that. good. And he's a real, he's a real artist. I like think like term. when people, um, what the fine, okay, another question. Oh, like, like real artists. Like, I think like they put a lot of time in their craft. Like yeah, they're just not making music to make music. I think they understand the process is going to be slow and shout out, um, shout out Marca Unica, shout out Yaya and then the gang. And it is not because they fuck with me too, but it's because, I like, even though I don't like the music, I love the the team behind it. Like, when you're a team and you you understand, like right now, like, their views might not be the best, but they understand the process is going to come. And the day's going to come when they fucking, you know what I Make mean? And, and sometimes people have one song, and you just got to understand that that one song you're going to have to carry for a little while, and then, you know, keep making music and mm -hmm. don't give up on hating. And, and I feel like kind of like, I, I, I like their teamwork. So if I like your teamwork, that means like, they're willing to put in the work to get. To yeah, the yeah, yeah. Because really. they they might not be hitting right now or next month or, but they might crack off in summer or, mm -hmm. in next year next year in December they might be the ones. You know what I mean? So I like shit like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Like to put you, I feel like you guys know way more than I do. Damn, I listen to a lot of this. Like, oh, I'm fucking sad, huh? Who hurt, <laughs> Who hurt you, my I feel boy? Like uh, someone in that type of space that's I feel like it's coming up. His name's R, and I feel like uh, his sound is very unique. I feel like I mean, I guess I would say this dude, the the El Pistolero dude. Um, I don't think his shit's monetized. I mean, now if he's on Apple, his shit's gonna be monetized. Huh? Yeah, I guess an artist. I heard, I saw his shit on TikTok. Shout out TikTok for putting me on new careers. Mm. Oh yeah, all the time. Be funny. Even like, like the new cumbia, like group um, of from oh yeah from TikTok. I got uh, El Junior. Yeah, heard El Junior. How does, from, it, go? How does it go? Um, Oh, fuck. oh, we also shout out to Esteban Gabriel. I, I listened to the whole album again today, and it's the, cumbia's like, like, yeah. the cumbia's like we nobody was I expecting that, it. and it just it's, it's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. I gotta fuck with it. Yeah, okay, bro. Yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. with it. Right here, number nine. Vibe. Number nine. strong. Number nine. Strong he he made a comeback, low key. He made a big yeah. comeback, bro. 
Like props, 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 props from Houston, Houston. Texas. Yeah. Houston, Texas. Big props, bro. Like shout out Texas. He, like he was going down. Like I even felt like, damn, this was like not dropping shit. The next thing you know, like now he dropped. Talking shit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, like, I'm giving my honest opinion. Bro. That's, like, fucking, fucking fucking <laughs> for, that's how I feel about um Nivel Codiciado, and yeah. they're my guys. I felt like I was like, damn. Shit. Like the only song I really fucked from Nivel Codicial was La Troca Star. And from there, I haven't heard, like, oh, besides the. The one that was Jose Mejia and Negado? Yeah, mm-hmm. because I heard it from TikTok. Because when the um, the Morenito or the Chunchito guy, yeah. he did the. the, the Chunchito guy? <laughs> Shout out my guys. Hey, I can say it. I can say it because I'm Chunchito. Yeah. So, like, you know, big people can say big people stuff. Fact, you know? fact, that's true, that's true, like, true. you guys can't say nothing against <laughs> big people. <laughs> But okay, um, I kinda see <laughs> But like I, I heard him play the acapella shit On hard, TikTok hard. Bro <laughs> I sent that shit to my girl Dog and, See what price That was it That was it I sent it to my girl Oh she not my girl anymore She's oh, okay, she yeah. hey, you, you know how okay, <laughs> You know how that song the Toda su tiempo Yeah yeah Do you You know how a lot of people Were saying that They didn't like Legado on it Yeah Did you think like Legado was a good fit For that song Um <laughs> No No I feel like Agree I feel like maybe try to get an Ivan. I mean, because they're part of the same thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, Jose Mejia's with um, Lumbre 2. Oh, is it? I, think I don't recently know. I think he's with DMG, no? No, he's not with DMG. I think he's like... Solista? I think he's independent. Independent. But but <clears throat> also, I could be a little biased just because I met Nivel. I've been... I've kicked it with them and they're... I love, I love their personality. Their team is beautiful, dog. Like, she has another thing. Like, I love when I see teamwork and they're like, mm-hmm. you know, shout out my guy Almighty. That's my guy right there. But... um. Yeah, I like their new album was good, and 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 fuck, fucking, I also heard some shit like before, like like unreleased when it was unreleased. So maybe I'm already over it, but but I definitely saw the guys drop and I, and I put it on my playlist and shit like that. But Nivel, I think I think Nivel's doing a comeback. See, but they understand the process. They're like slowly but surely, like we got out of this situation. Now we're moving on to whatever situation they're moving on to. Now I don't know if they're public with it, but. I he think, was really like positive about that. Yeah, saying that he didn't get paid for like yeah, nine like, months. Yeah, like dog, it's okay, fool. Like something you're not gonna like. I feel like this year when it came to skits, it wasn't my best year. Yeah, but I killed it in podcasting. Like that comedian, yeah. what's his name? Um, the one that got his thing taken down from Netflix. Chief Chappelle. Nah, he didn't get taken down. No, like, he fought for that motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> but like he was like, all right, that, and then he just Michael restarted. Scamilla? You know, uh, who? I thought Franco right. they, it was Dave Chappelle, no? The okay, had like no, no, no. Of... Dave Chappelle got... They were trying to cancel him for the gay remarks in the LGBTQ community. But, I mean, Netflix fought for him. So, I mean, he's good, but he's, he broke a lot of barriers. People aren't being so sensitive anymore. You know what I mean? So, I think... Uh, bro, life's a process, dog. I feel like people want to win, like, every day. Like, no, it's, like, it's not going to happen, dog. You know what I mean? Like, you got to learn how to take your L's and fucking... Think, things are gonna come together, dog. Just let the process, let the ball keep running. I feel like Nivel is a good. What, who's the um? You said um, what's the brother's name? Gabriel. Yeah, like he's coming back surely and slowly again. Nivel, I feel like um, even like um, I'm trying to think of the artist. Fuck. <laughs> he's yeah. like, don't look at me, bro. <laughs> he's like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, like, it's kind of like we're saying like right now, right? We're saying like. We we saying that maybe Tony Loyal's latest music wasn't for us, but who knows? This year he might fuck us up and be our next favorite artist with you know, cause yeah. they have a good team over there at Mansana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we we say Yuvia maybe wasn't for us, but you know what I mean? It's, everything's a process, dog. Like yeah. all of like all those music hasn't been for me in a long time. But they're oh shit. But I popping, still though. fucking fuck with them as a team and as a person. I've been around them, they're good guys, you know what I mean? And I fuck with them, you know what I mean? And 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 they they have a good team behind them, they have a good company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they might be right retiring there. and just you feel me? Yeah, collecting the bag in the back end. You know what I mean? Yeah. So shit like that. Not everybody. Not everything has to hit right away. Yeah, everything's definitely a process. But shout out love music for killing the game this year. Yeah, yeah low key. I feel like love music took. What, what took do you think is year. next for like the music industry? Love music. Yeah. I think Junior Arch is like I think Junior Arch broke a lot of barriers. Hell yeah, he did. I don't know if you've seen. Um, a lot of people were doing covers on the electric guitar with that song intro? called intro the ding, 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 ding. i haven't heard it. i gotta i gotta yeah, hear it that's a vibe you gotta listen to like full volume of bass well yeah like he started using electric guitar and then um ivan cornejo himself said it that 
he got influenced to use the electric guitar. And now Ivan's using other sounds, and it's just gonna keep. Yeah, yeah, like it's about trying new shit. For like, like I like that. Like I said, the Junior Hatch album wasn't for me, but I know Bro's a fucking great artist. He's gonna come out with way more shit. Who do you have on the album? Is that the Fake Land? No. I don't, you didn't I hear don't the know. album? You had Snow the Product. Aleman. 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 Oh, no, Santa Fe. Aleman, sorry. Big Soto. Big Soto and who else? Oh, uh, Ovi. Ovi. Okay, see, like, Ovi, his music's not for me. Yeah. Some of his songs was just went out there. Like, just went out there. Oh, you a real big Nata fan. No, no, he yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, he'll be on his knees if Nata says, come here, like. Oh, shit. No, oh, I, I recorded when he first met him. I'm going to show you. I made a little TikTok on him. You were, like, bleeding food, like, of how, like, nervous Every single were. comment. Someone his needs a white sign like, on the watery, floor. Bro. Oh, when I met Nata, bro. Yeah, I met him, I met him not that long ago. How'd you hug him? No, nah, he's like, like, what's up, homie? Nah. He was like, what's up? And he was like, yeah. Oh, he played it real there, cool. <laughs> this was fucking wet. That's how I was when I met Andrew Schultz. Really? Yeah, you were a fanboy. What on your knees, too? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I should have, huh? <laughs> nah, just kidding. And Show I was like, oh. in my head, I was like, oh. Damn, that's sick when you get to meet one of your idols that, you know, inspire you to do great things. Yeah, man. Shout out Joe Coy, too, man. You know who Joe Coy is? No. One of the biggest comedians to ever fucking do it. He's like a big influence for me. We tapped in. Yeah, man, I got a lot of bad. Artists, get it together. Y'all music gonna be good one day. It just will. What is that? What's the word? What's the, the phrase you said? Trust the process. Let the yeah, process man. Rolling. Don't be scared of failure. Don't be scared of failure for sure. <clears throat> Damn, we really got to chop it up with Dunos. Bro, man, honestly, I look up to you. It was funny, dude. It was a funny ass podcast. It was. You know, we Chaco, hit the guy though, fool. They want to talk to you, buddy. Que go Hitler, Hernandez. But look, but look, but look. But look, but look. But look, but look, Chaco, if you want to come talk to them, come oh. talk to me, you feel me? Yeah. I won't pull it. Ah. <laughs> He's like, we're going to go. Me. Do no Nah, but shout out all the artists that be tapping in with the guys. Shout out all y'all fan base. I love y'all shit. I love y'all clips. Who edits you do? Yeah. Good job. Thank you, bro. Hey, and then Joe, and then you got to Oh, it's yeah, yeah, slime, yeah, slime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just assumed. No, 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 no. It's because hey, I, I, barely, I barely, I barely started, I so I don't, I don't get the dab yet. No, I barely started. Yeah, no. I just be a I'm not no, the, one. the first half of the podcast I used to edit, you know. But that was horrible. Them, but he no, lost no, his it, 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 it was some good work. It was not. I I one comment it. literally said, hey, you guys got so much better recently <laughs> at the podcast. And then, and then this dumbass comments, it's because we stopped <laughs> then then Jason edit. edit. I was like, fete la verga, I had no time to edit. So it's like, yeah. And but thank you for taking the time to come. Wait, wait, you hate Larry Hernandez? Yeah, it's Why do you hate him so bad? We went, we went to the uh, YouTube theater to see uh, Marca Registrada. And it was, oh, those guys are good. Oh, Marca Registrada. Yeah, yeah. Real good, real and, good. Like, and, like, and it was vibes. And then that fool comes down. Like, I don't know. He does like little stops in between like every word. It's like. Oh, just it's because I feel like song. he's a professional hype man. Yeah. Like, and the song. Man, he a professional his, hype man. His, his fall off was when he did the, the damn TV show. The like Apple you're like him, not us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn TV show, like, That's yeah. like you know he literally hit. What you mean? He's, like, he's about to say it was, like it was those damn sauces. Like it was a whole ass, like documentary <laughs> about his life. He's still a legend though, dog. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, his old music, his old <laughs> music is dope, bro. Like, I, I fuck with that shit, but like the the new stuff just not it. You know, hey, damn sauce. Hey, did you make that a highlight? Effa, did you guys see the guys that um the dude that had like a speech better man that be singing? The yeah, the what? I know what you're talking about. Oh, the I guy that, that oh, went with uh, El Mimoso and El Flaco, and they did the. Okay, who are all those fools? They're oh, like they're, ba and they're banda, they're banda. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're like icons. They're really big. Like, it's cool. who's oh, the dude? I know who you're talking about. Okay, who's the guy that's singing next to the dude? So it's the fat, ugly uh, dude that's singing next to <laughs> El Mimoso. <laughs> that fool like El Fantasma. No, that's Leon. Uh, don't that sing some? No, Karim Leon. With Karim Leon and shit, right? Karim Leon wasn't there, was he? What's that song called? I don't know. <laughs> Just go on TikTok. It like, should be there somewhere. El Mimoso? El Mimoso. That fool is like no prep, like own, a crazy like, boy. Well, it's because what happens is that they were like in these really big no, bandas. like him. Here, uh, my phone's over there. What's the dude's name? The dude that had the speech better, man. I wouldn't know. Man. Uh, <clears throat> the what? The guy that has the speech like, impediment. Like, 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 go on. Speech impediment. Oh, he seems good, though. Yeah. The people were Oh, my God. Him, you know who fell out? Like. Who? Oh. La guitarra. Oh, oh yeah, that man. Bad. And he's doing a dueto with Polo. Can't go hit Polo. Yo. <laughs> you've been a gusto, papa. Oh, my God, dude. Hey, oh, hey, 
the music we was literally so, had two beefs. We had a double loop. The music was loop. so good before your face. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that is. And I feel like that's what people fuck with. Dog, like, that was my shit at Pollo Loco, full yeah. word for word. Costa, Ghost, Costa, Costa, Pollo Loco Jolly was my Rancher, shit. and then like guitar. Pollo Loco's cash. Yeah, dude, it was. <laughs> Get What's bro's name? Damn, I'm trying to find his name now. Alright, we're looking Dude, for Dude, freaking Gego. And you made us all with Polo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, all this shit's getting clipped up. Just letting you know. And you see him? I feel don't care. Oh, my, oh. my boy, your music inspires me. It's no, 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 no. I would never say music I know, I know. My boy, your music inspires me? Nah, never. Ooh. We got like two minutes. To my boy. Wait, I got you. Wow, what's that for his name, dick? I but I love, love his dick. voice. Look it up. Look up. It's because they did like the whole Grupo Firme thing, but without Grupo Firme. Oh, they this one, this one, right? Oh this my guy. god, his voice is beautiful. Who's this fool? Yeah, that's Chris and Leon, no? Chris oh, Leon. Or, Karin okay. Leon. Karin Leon. <laughs> oh. You said he wasn't there, bitch. Bro, I was close. I'm the one that said Karin Leon. <laughs> his name's Karin Leon? I said that shit. I just know he makes good music. He yeah. makes good yeah. music, huh? Yes. Shout out to Karin Leon. You, Karin my Leon. mom loves you. And we were trying to go to your oh concert. Oh, they're like, they're like Sensaciones in Mexico. Oh, what? hell yeah. Oh, Karin Leon is probably like top five like yeah. streamed artists. Top yeah. five. Yeah. Wait, Christian. Top <laughs> five. Top five. Who's this dude? Also, wasn't he? Karin Leon. Yeah. You gotta... He sings a través del vaso, no? A través del vaso. You oh, see? Yeah! yeah! Oh, my <laughs> God. I gotta go look more in your shirt. Keiko hates Larry Hernandez and Polo Bundolis. And, he looks like a and, fantasma. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They all look the same. They're cousins. They're like 55. Oh, he, he's the first thing that's toxico. <laughs> yeah. How do you know everyone's age? I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, he's like, it's my boy. It's because I'm keeping tabs. He's 27. I don't really. remind me of Jeffrey Dahmer's. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. All right, this man, I go to my You feel me? Don't touch kids. Live life. I don't know why I said that. And <laughs> he said Jeffrey Dahmer. I was like, oh, people are nasty out here. He was going to say like those little signs they put on you the random me? signs on the wall. Try safely. Don't scream at your team. And <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking. Shout, Shout out to Gusto Baba for having me. If you're an artist, yes. you should definitely come out here. These guys are vibes. You feel me? It's been Duno. We out this motherfucker. I don't know. If, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for taking the outro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. The more you guys comment, the more the algorithm goes up, the more YouTube puts it everywhere else. Make sure you watch through all the ads. Don't skip it so we can pay bills. We got bills to pay. Please send Larry Hernandez yeah. a clip of Keiko Sin. Okay, Keiko Sin. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for taking the time to come yeah, on. Bro. We know yeah, you have man, like you a thousand long. things. It was long. It was I'm tired. No, this was. Oh hurts. no, it, it depends on, on how it's going. You yeah, know? no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I feel it. I've, 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 I'm, I'll tell you guys off camera who some interviews I haven't put up, but yeah. Yeah, we appreciate you taking the time. I look up to you as a yeah, Mexican no. content creator. Let me say it. Damn. All right, who's fucking? Go, go, say. Oh, no, already said it. <laughs> <laughs> we out, man. Shout out to you. Yes, sir. We Bye. out. Cha-cha.